Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned in to what would be a Friday night, an average Friday night? I don't know what average is anymore. I used to say Friday was my fun day. Hey! Hey! Hi. You seem to have run from across the house mm. with your Grogu socks. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Nothing. Okay, I, I was just starting. Yeah. Right, careful, can you, can you stand that guy back up? Knocking over my ad at drivers there. It's a big one. The doll. Here, now we have to show it. Let's see, the doll fell. There we go. No guy. Can Poor guy fell. It? Uh, borrow it. Uh, you got to clean up your uh, your Lego bricks first. You got all those out still. Uh, if you get it all cleaned up properly, not just put away. I mean, put away properly. No, you didn't, hun. I was just in there like three seconds ago. It's not put away. Can't can't try to fool me. Can't. Yes. No. This. Which I don't know. She wanted to play with it. I said you you clean up. I said yeah. You can after you clean up your Lego bricks. Oh yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like you've got your Lego bricks that you're playing with. So I'm I, no. I'm just saying I don't want to be getting too many things out. Hello. I, I I love how everyone's paying attention like right now as opposed to any time before I started live streaming. Hi. Until I started live streaming, it was silent. It was nothing. It was 
everybody going about their business. Everybody. And and now, yes. Everybody, turn on your turn on your fans, and you're about to eat popcorn. Well, I, I don't know, honey. I, I'm not sure if popcorn's coming tonight. That may be a bit of a stretch. Oh, they can eat popcorn. Yes, they 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 can definitely eat popcorn. Everybody, put on your heat fans and make popcorn. Yeah. So as I was saying, Friday used to be the fun day. Friday's fun day. Woo! Friday, fun day. Friday, fun day. Friday, fun day. Silence Friday, fun day, fun day, for Friday. hours. Friday, fun day. Friday, Nothing fun day, for Friday. hours. And then suddenly, this is the. Oh, everyone needs to come in. The fire, the yeah, yeah. Woo! She Woo! is. It's great. It's amazing. I I most certainly did not, nor did I expect the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, I, I, oh, I know I'm right. Clearly wrong. And by the way, I would not put that car mat up against your lips. I know. Okay, I'm just saying. I know you've like shaped it like oh. a cone. She shaped the car mat oh. like a cone there. Yeah. So that, you know, she can be louder than she has been because that's... Oh. Ha 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 It is a noise that I'm making because I, I don't know what's going on. I, I legit don't. I pressed the button. I thought I knew what was going on until I started talking and then everyone... You're having a nightmare! <laughs> that would explain a lot. That that uh, having a nightmare Your would. Your voice it... is clear. My voice is clear. Is is this a night? Is it a nightmare, Jedi? Is yes, that is that what's is. happening? Is that what is that what's going on? Yes. Is that is that why things are happening the way they are? Yeah, because okay. you took off your glasses. That's a nightmare. Well, I wouldn't say that taking off my glasses is the nightmare. You're having a nightmare. It, it again would explain a lot. Chris is having a nightmare! Woo! Chris is having a nightmare! <laughs> Chris is having a nightmare! <sighs> so, thank you for tuning in, everybody, on a Friday evening. It is good to see you, at least virtually. I wish I knew. Uh, no, Yoko, there is absolutely. Well, Friday, Friday, everybody. It, yes, it is. Today is Friday. No reason whatsoever. Nothing. No. Nothing. It's just the randomness of having to deal with Friday, normalcy. Around here, and it's been far from a normal day. I I don't even know what normal is anymore. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, Friday nights are usually slow evenings. I think that's what I was going to say. Although I've lost like all train Wait, of thought. You're gonna end the video. No, I'm not. I've got this to print, and then uh, potentially the checkers after this. This is a quick print. This is going to be the my my tester Vader helmet. I hadn't done it yet, and it's a pretty short print. Like I said, given that, um, given that, uh, Friday, easy, easy, that hurts. E uh, that, uh, that Friday night is a, uh, uh, typically a slow night. So, yeah. If it wasn't one thing, it was something else. Today's Friday felt just like a Monday. And I'm fairly confident that, uh, as the weekend rolls on, it will be Another Monday, after another Monday, after another Monday, after another Monday. It's nothing but Mondays. In fact, uh, now that I think about it, 
I probably need to change the uh, the title for this video to uh, something apart from what I had last night, huh? Well, you know, when you have to manage your own stuff and nobody's there for you to kind of reinforce it, it's, you know, it's just the way that it is right now. Uh, sometimes you miss steps. So let's go ahead and say that Monday after Monday, right after, wait, is today Monday? There we go. Uh, that is now the title of this video is today monday because i really i genuinely don't know it, it feels less like a friday more like a monday i don't have that sense of i'm done i, I have a sense of i'm just getting started so uh yeah uh found a few things today thrifting which was nice uh i wasn't expecting them uh but this was discovered uh, ended up getting a 20% discount across everything that I'm about to show you. Got this Imperial Walker. I didn't even look inside because I thought, you know, for five bucks, well, 20% off five bucks. For four bucks, I figured uh, this was perfect, right? Hello from Massachusetts. Hello, Evan, and hello everywhere. Seeing up, it is kind of like the Groundhog Day movie. Hollywood N3D, good to see you. And you too, Yoko. Can't trust that day. Monday? No, you can't. Or Groundhog Day. So when I got it home, took off the sticker, that's when I realized that, A, it was time to clip my fingernails, which I did, unfortunately. But then I looked inside, and you can see that there is an AT-AT driver in there. Moreover, if you look on the other side, and this is Action Fleet. Oh, man. Again. I messed up because I clipped my nails. I look good, but... Or I should say I look better. I don't look good. Uh, let me see if I can get this little dude to stand up. It's going to be impossible, so let me go and hold it up. Got myself and uh, Snow Trooper right there inside. So the AT AT was a nice discovery for four dollars. That's with uh, everything uh, you know discounted. Yeah, nice AT 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 AT. Then uh, I also saw on the stands, even though this one did not have any of the figures. Also for about four bucks after discount, Snow Speeder, which was also nice to find, especially with the stand. I like the uh, I like the stands, make them stand apart because uh, Jedi's been into uh, the smaller figurines lately. So this was also discovered. Now the interesting story about this one is not just that the wings do splay out. There's a trick somewhere. Oh, is this is this it? If I put the landing gear goes down just like on the Snow Speeder, but there's is there a button? I'm, not gonna, I'm probably gonna have to look up how to like twist this off. Anyway, the wings do uh, go into uh, their uh, attack positions, the X position, but uh, inside the cockpit there is, if I had fingernails still, uh, a Luke Skywalker figure, and the Luke does come out, but then there's an R2-D2 right here, and this figure does come out as well. Oh, man, you try taking this thing out without fingernails. Very tiny R2-D2 figure. Probably the smallest R2-D2 figure that I have. Now, now you're glad I clipped my nails, right? So I I got this, brought it home, and then later uh, took Jedi out, or, you know, really quickly uh, to, uh, what was it? I had to, I had to pick up a, a laundry basket. We had to replace our laundry baskets. Don't get me started. Um, so, uh, I ended up, uh, having purchases ahead of time, went back to, uh, the, uh earlier today before starting to work, uh, I ended up getting, uh, uh, losing this and the person gave it back to me, the little, uh, R2-D2. He remembered it was me because that's the place where I thrift and that otherwise that R2-D2, that droid would have been lost to time. So I'm very, very grateful. Also in the, the sorry in the array of these vehicles the action fleet vehicles there was also a very nice darth vader tie and yes in case you're wondering it also came with a little darth vader I w i'd say it's the tiniest darth vader but there's actually one the micro machines darth vader is a little smaller than this one so, uh, yeah, got these little vehicles today. Pretty decent price. I was happy. 
uh, I did, they didn't really have anything else uh, out, minus one other thing, which I got for one of Jedi's childhood friends, a Dubak. She already has a Dubak. The Dubak came with a Stormtrooper. And the Stormtrooper has a pauldron, which is off to the side there. Get, hang on. Get the pauldron in the right spot. There we go. Theoretically, I can get the uh, snow tr snow trooper, a uh, sand trooper stationed appropriately. Now this uh, this ah snow trooper does not want to stay on. You love thrift shopping, dude. I love thrift shopping. Thrift shopping is my favorite. Find so many treasures, right? This one, if you couldn't tell, actually has a uh, mouth that can move. The dewback, and of course the arms articulate and everything like that. We already had one of these. So I thought I'd grab another one. Right? You can't have too many dewbacks. Gonna have like a an army o dewbacks. Just like that. Let me go ahead and see if I can station this dewback just off to the side. So I got those. Those are the uh, thrifting scores. Very nice thrifting scores, in my humble opinion. Fix them, dude. Notes. Wow, how fortunate I concur. Krillin64 loves the snow speeder. I do as well. I also agree that it's awesome. That they came with minifigures because i mean i wouldn't call them minifigures i mean they are small figures but they're definitely action fleet style where you know their arms may articulate but specifically the hips they kind of they swing as one unit very very tiny uh they work out very well by the way speaking of working out very well here's a shout out to sith lord brit go ahead and give her a follow uh and if you are so inclined uh you may be interested in what she streams on a very regular basis uh i uh i, I haven't had a chance to reach out to her like you know in a direct capacity but i did uh i did also extend since i talked about starting the locker gnome team on twitch last night this very loose group of people i mean that's the wrong word to use like it's a very uh it's a loose connection between people on Twitch that tend to stream the same kind of thing, geeking out, 3D printing, maybe not 3D printing, just geeking out, showcasing toys, making things, but generally chatting with people. Uh, Sith, uh, Lord Brit, I should say. That's her first name, Sith. And her middle name's Lord. Her last name's Brit. I don't know if you knew that. No, I, that's, I, can't, I can't back that up. That is definitely not, definitely not true. And Jedi yelling, who is it, out of the blue gives me a little concern because I don't know if that was a doorbell or something else but I definitely can't pay attention to what's going on out there why is Jedi coughing and choking now um, either way okay so if I'm missing anything in chat I apologize scrolling back now uh, Evan channel loves thrift shopping. I love thrift shopping too. Bought a H five dollar HP printer. Oh, uh, yeah. you couldn't pay me five dollars to take a printer, like unless it was like a three D printer. That's a different kind of printer. But not, yeah, I'm not. No, 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 no. This do back five bucks. In 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 my estimation, will last a hell of a lot longer and bring a lot more joy than a printer. A printer just reminds you that it's out of ink, even when it isn't, right? No, I, I can't print that. What do you mean you can't print that? You got plenty of ink. No, I don't have cyan. I'm not asking for cyan. There's no cyan, just black. No, 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 I, I can't I can't do that. But you have a black cartridge. Yeah, but I, I don't have cyan. But I, I'm not asking you to print cyan. Just, just black. Mm, no. Why? Because I'm not connected to the internet either. Well, I, I'm not gonna. Why would I connect you to the internet? The documents on my desktop. Why would I? Why would I connect you to the internet so, so that you could print an item that's on my desktop in black with ink you already have that's black as well? Uh, I, don't, I don't make the rules. I'm just the printer. That that's 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 my experience with printers. So yeah, no, you could not pay me five dollars. Couldn't even pay me. Couldn't even pay me five hundred. I'm like, ah, I'm good. I'm good. We figured out uh, another workflow for our printing needs. This kind of printer, however, you don't connect to the internet. You feed it a file, does its thing. Uh, I'm still using Jesse PLA Overcast Gray. This is my Vader tester helmet, and I'm happy with it. Well, so far, uh, this is the one that I usually print first thing. But I just didn't have a chance to, to print it first thing the other day. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't even believe in laser printers. It's kind of like it's a, printing is a religion, and, and if, it's, if it's the typical type of printing, I don't believe in it. Oh, fix him, dude. I could have done that all night. Uh, you know, I, I love how everyone sits in judgment. Oh, uh, you're blinking. Oh, uh, you're moving. You try it. I dare you. Like, next time I get frozen, you try it. You see how far you get. All right. Remember that purple. And I also had a stretch or something. Oh, I got to really be careful with the stretch. Um, Okay, so what were we saying? Printing. Yeah, no, uh, no. Firm no for me. That's going to be a no for me. Uh, we use a service that's external to the house. Uh, I refuse to put a printer inside the home. Certainly refuse to put it on a network. Oh my god. No. Absolutely not. We will find another way. I don't care how much it costs. It's not worth the hassle. I'm done. There, there's certain things that I'm done with in my life. Uh, grade school, one of them. I suppose to a certain degree high school. Uh, but the other one, Printers. See, I, you know, as much as they call these devices 3D printers, I mean, they do print. You know, the more accurate term might be 3D extruders, plastic extruders. Maybe it's not as fancy. I don't, I don't see these as printers, despite them being called printers. I certainly don't consider those resin uh, chambers to be printers. I mean, they make, they are 3D object makers, right? 3D makers? That, that makes more sense to me that... <laughs> Speaking of 3D, 
Fuchsia the Clown, make sure that I uh, I get enough fiber for the day. That's that's uh, that's what I got now. I'm gonna have to change my underwear before going to bed. Thank you, Future of the Clown. I appreciate that. Uh, what if Jedi needs to print documents? Well, like I said, we we actually uh, uh, offset that to a printer that exists beyond our home. It hasn't been a problem for six years. As long as she's been born, there has not been a printer in the house. It just hasn't. And again, I don't. I don't. I. I just. This is the name we have right now, but they're like fabricators, replicators, extruders, makers. Printing just doesn't seem to be the right word. I don't know, to me at least. Uh, it is It is Friday, Bren, just because. It is, but it does feel like a Monday. Oh, it feels like a Monday. Oh, it's so Monday. It's so Monday. Now I gotta turn on emotes only chat. All right, emote only chat. Good luck, everybody. Show me your best emotes. Show me. Brent just cuz has a good one. A Kermit the Frog crying. Hang on. I've got Jedi screaming in the background. I have no idea what's about to happen. Brace yourselves. Sounds like she's got a friend. Hopefully it's a good friend. I'm listening, but I have no idea what kind of friend that is. Because some friends end up in fights. Other friends are good you know, with each other. But it's good to have both dynamics, I suppose. You know, friends that you get along with and friends that, you know, bring up nothing but contention. Oh, Bren, you know, I knew I, I, I knew I liked you a lot. You must be into frogs, but specifically Kermit the Frog. And I'm a huge, huge Muppets fan. Huge. Huge. Huge Muppets fan. Love the Muppets. Need more Muppets. Not just, like, you know, the, the old stuff, which is also fun. Uh, but the, the newer stuff, and not just the Muppet Babies. I really wish they would bring back, and they won't, but I really wish they'd bring back the, uh, the Muppets on ABC. That was a great series. They killed it way too soon. Way too soon. There needs to be, like, an, a, a Muppets universe on, uh, on Disney+. Plus. They're making a Jim Henson documentary, brand new one for Disney+, Plus, according to Big Fan. Well, that makes sense. Now, I'm all for it. Um, you can sign me up. And look at that. Look, look at Sith Lord Brit bringing all those. What is that? Is that a porg there? Looks like a porg with a heart. And a Grogu with a ball. And another porg. And a cookie monster? Yeah. I don't know if I had a favorite Muppet. I'm not sure I, I did. Future of the Clowns. Just watched Labyrinth with your kids the other day. Hopefully that went well. I have a feeling a lot of that is going to be, you know, in the distant future for me. Let me put it this way. Getting Jedi a speaking spell yesterday that I showcased, uh, I sent it back. I sent it back. It, there's no point in holding on to uh, the, uh, the the speaking spell as much as, you know, I might have enjoyed it. Uh, she was speaking with to it, like a speak and spell, like talking to it and just kind of losing interest very quickly i'm like well i spent 20 bucks i'm not gonna waste the 20 bucks sent it back so labyrinth would be you know that kind of experience where i just kind of have to wait until she's ready for it and then we watch it and that won't be for for years years and years and years and years and years uh do i have tips for getting through rough patches well bren just because uh what what define rough patch because lord knows i i i my entire life has been sprinkled with rough patches. Uh, hey, thank you for following. And and my mom's great. Well, she is. You are you are correct. You you are that is very accurate. It's very accurate. I mean, she did hatch me. Let's let's face it. Uh, born from an egg, as are we all. Whether you want it to you know deny that it's where we came from. So it's really weird that humans eat eggs. I'm like, do, do you? Do you, do you know? And eh, not passing judgment. I just think it's kind of funny to bring up. We had burgers today. What's a real burger? What's a fake burger? It was one of those uh, chicken chicken patties, right? You know, the fake meat chicken patty. What's fake meat? Right? It's the meat-like, meat-ish, meaty chicken patties. Chicken patties. I'll go as far as to say a lot of those real chicken patties are filled with nothing close to chicken was it wasn't the pink slime was a thing 
at one point with hamburgers. It was pink slime. It's kind of funny. Uh, yes, Dark Crystal is coming back, but you have to go to London, England to see it on Broadway. Not going to happen. Just like it's not going to happen me watching the Back to the Future Broadway show. Yes, fix him, dude. Flexi Burgers. Man, that would be great. Uh, I'll probably get to doing that, uh, although today I found some uh, cookies. Uh, Melissa and Doug had a series of, like, wooden cookies that, like, adhere to, uh, like, a cookie sheet, a pretend cookie sheet. They're all wooden, and they stick by way of Velcro. I found a full set for, like, four bucks. Well, minus discount, about three bucks. Got it for Jedi. She could stick it inside her refrigerator and play fun with cookies. It's kind of good. Uh, Bren just cause got COVID, not, uh, got good for a week. Mom has heart attack, missing assignments, piling up. She just went back to hospital for one hour ago, still piling up. Fortnite is dry. Well, uh, Bren, okay, if I can put on my father hat, um, I'm obviously not your father. Not that, not that I know of. That would be an interesting way of discovering it. Um, sometimes when... When, when I'm driving, Jedi's in the back seat. He's standing right behind me, isn't he? Setsukun just resubscribed for two months. Thank you, Setsukun. Although I'm a little creeped out. Did you hear that? Like, I didn't even touch anything. And like a Darth Vader started breathing. Okay, uh, back to my father, fatherly advice. I could be your father? Thanks. No, really, Bren, no, thank you. I was having a great week. Thanks. That's just what I needed to hear there. Uh, so, anyway. Um, I know I heard it. Okay, so before Darth Vader breathes again, let me see if I can lay this down. Jedi sometimes will get car sick. And I told him when she gets car sick, uh, to kind of look at a point in the distance. Focus on that point in the distance. Keep, keep your eyes on that. Keep your eyes on the tree line. Keep your eyes out there on the horizon. Keep, keep that in focus. Ignore everything else around you. Because it's not as important as that 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 tree line you've got to focus on that distant point to keep yourself from getting car sick and i'm i'm going to make this leap bren just because because you're asking um lord knows i've had some very trying days i've had some very trying weeks i've had some very trying months and i'd say oh it's all covid it's all related to that no 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 i've i have faced more than my fair share of stressors and have always seemingly pulled through so i have a great degree of confidence uh, that despite every setback keeping my eye on a, a distant point has me reconnecting to where it is I'm trying to go. Wherever that point happens to be. Whatever that point happens to be. So when you find yourself uh, mired in complexities, life's complexities, keep your eye on that distant point. I don't know what that point is. And, and honestly, that point to me has changed over the years. That, that, that focal point, having a, you know that, that point in the distance, whatever it may be, right? That's the thing. That's the thing I'm, I'm, I'm heading to. And, and I may get sidetracked and I may have to deal with uh, life's little stressors. But the last thing you want to do is live your life ruled by fear. That's the last thing you want to do. That's the worst thing you can do. Because guess what? That fear will control you. You've, you've got to deal with things, right? I'm not, I'm not going to you know, tell you you can't. I'm not telling you to ignore the problems. I mean, there are problems you have to deal with. But when it comes to facing those problems, you face them one at a time. And you take care of them. Don't sidestep responsibility. Take care of them. Don't sidestep accountability. Take care of those problems. And there are certainly things that you cannot control. Well, 
I mean, I'm not saying this should make it easier, but you're going to, you'll implode if you try to control things that you cannot control. You'll implode. You won't make it. You won't survive. You'll crack. So understanding that you cannot be ruled by fear and understanding that you cannot control everything and recognizing what you can and cannot control alongside keeping a focus at a point in the distance is going to pull you through. So it's, that's my dad answer. That, that's what I would, that's, that's what I would tell someone. Because believe you me, there, there are a lot of people out there who are ruled by fear and who can't recognize true threats, or sorry, true threats from fake threats. And, and who do not focus on a point in the distance. And, and, and find themselves buried in the moment. And who cannot recognize what they can and cannot control. You gotta, you, you, you gotta pair that out, man. You got, you gotta do it. I can't do it. I can just give you that guidance. That's it. Ultimately, it's someone can open the door for you, but you gotta walk through. Ain't easy. Ain't fun. Life ain't fair. <laughs> no one's gonna tell you otherwise. And I'm not gonna sit here and, and blow sunshine out my ass and tell you everything's gonna be okay. But you know, if you again. Keep your mind focused on that distant point, what that distant point is. That's your guiding light. Recognize what you have in that moment, the things you can and cannot control. And the one thing you can control is being ruled by fear or not. That's your choice. That's your choice. That's the choice you make. So, that's what I'd tell you. Uh, Skookum Trooper notes, uh, that's a very Star Wars thing to say. Your focus determines your reality. It kind of does. Uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a saying, a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? You, 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 you focus on something hard enough that becomes the thing that, 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 that you see no matter what. It's the thing that comes true because you made it come true. So, you know, yeah, I, I, it, it, trust me, you're not, I will say this, you're not the only person that's going through tough times. And, and the people that you think are set, that they're fine, nobody has their stuff together. You're, you're not, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this, you're not a special snowflake. There's nothing special about you, nothing. And that should actually be a comfort, right? The fact that you're, you're hitting some walls, right? Well... One step at a time, one day at a time, one hour at a time, one task at a time. What can you control? What can't you control? What's your distant focal point, right? What are you driving towards? You know, what are you fearful of now? What can you let go? Are you are you letting that fear guide your decisions? Like, you gotta you gotta process this. You can't you can't you can't offset that. And like I said, the, the, the bottom line is that you know that point. You, you, it's your, you got to walk it. Avoiding it ain't going to help. Make, you know, doing anything to make things worse ain't going to help. Being self-destructive, it's not going to help. It's just going to make it worse. Um, Evan Channel says, Sometimes we fall, but accepting it and how we rise back up speaks volumes. It does. Yeah, Lord knows I've, I've suffered a lot of setbacks, but... It doesn't define me. No one gets to define me. Nobody. Nobody tells me who I am. Not one person. Not one person tells me who I am. Just getting a notification saying that some Bad Batch figures might be available. Yay, can't wait for the Bad Batch next next week? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, coming up this coming week. Something to look forward to. So right now, that would be my light. That would be the thing I'd look forward to, right? My guiding light is get through this, get through May, get to May fourth. I you get to watch the Bad Batch. Okay, there's something to look forward to, right? Well, after we're past that, what's the next thing to look forward to? Well, maybe the Book of Boba Fett, 
great or something that I would have to look forward to. Because remember, once again, one of the reasons why I love Star Wars so much is the one thing, the one thing that does not tick me off. I'd say the 3D printer, but uh, you know, there are times that I'm like, it doesn't happen that often. I'm very grateful. But there are times that I'm like, what's going on? I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I do hope that helps. I do. So, let's see. I'm scrolling back. And thank you, folks, for in, in chat. Uh, thank you, Fix'em Dude, for addressing, I guess, a question that your mom's great. Uh, asking about a, a 3D printer. Now, you can't ask me. You cannot. Because I will tell you, I'll be the first person to tell you, I am not experienced in that world at all. Like, this is my only 3D printer, a Prusa Mini Plus, and I love it. Uh, Mark H and NC is very... I, Mark, I, I'll give you this. Hat tip to you. Can't control uh, the circumstances, but you can definitely control your response to them. And it's not always easy. And we all have triggers. We, you know, we all... We're human. We're not infallible. It's, it's recognizing, you know, when it's time to lead and when it's time to follow. When it's time to, to go through the motions and it's when it's time to take a more active role in what's happening. Like I said, it's, you, you ultimately have to take responsibility and be accountable. You got to be an adult. It's time. Uh, Lorburn. Very good to see you. And thank you. Thank you for saying well. So I, I, you know... Trust me, I, far from perfect, but the things that I'm telling you are the, that's how I do things. Distant focal point. Distant goal. Recognizing what I can and cannot control. Not living in fear. Being accountable. Being responsible. Taking care of tasks. It gets you through. Uh, Weather Gone Wild is asking, why is the camera so close to my face tonight? I have no idea, dude. In fact, I, hell, I thought I had it zoomed out like that. Just goes to show you. Goes to show you. Uh, it's called, he moved his face closer to the camera. Yes. Hi. I didn't realize I was that close to the camera. I didn't, I'm not, like, sitting any differently than I was before. Uh, another thing I picked up, I got this online. It is a Mighty Bubble Ball. Ball. Star Wars Mighty Bubble Ball. It's like this racket thing with this this uh, Mighty Bubbles um, solution. It says, includes no burst bubbles and bubble ball paddle. So this bubble ball paddle looks like it has a, uh, a Mandalorian and Grogu sticker on it. And it says, remove the cap from bottle, use the wand to stir a Mighty Bubble Ball, blow into the end of the wand to form a Mighty Bubble Ball. Twist wand to release my be mighty bubble. Use the paddle provided to bounce the mighty bubble. Have fun. Non-toxic, non-stating. Do not drink. Do not a food item. But anyway, I thought it was kind of cool. I'm like, ah, for six, seven bucks. Fun little summer game. You know, Star Wars. Never, didn't even know this thing existed. But this is the kind of stuff I love, right? The Star Wars trinkety stuff. I love finding that stuff. That stuff's fun. Uh, Evan Channel says, unfortunately, 2020 was not a good year for him in the process of moving back with my mom to save money and start a new chapter in my life. Evan, let me let me go ahead and, and tell you, you're not the only one. Again, see, I, everyone, I know, this is probably, it probably runs counter to everybody else, but like, oh, stretch and a posture. Okay, here I am, posturing. Um, you're, you're not alone. There's no shame in that. Um... I know people who had to do the same thing. I, I don't look at them any differently, but I just I, I reflect and think, wow, I'm grateful that I was able to not have to do that as 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 some kind of resort. I'm also very understanding in the sense that everything that I'm doing now is to ensure that my daughter may not have to have the same worries that I did. She doesn't. I can tell you. Not, I can tell you right now. This, but that's the, I think that's that's what every parent would want. They would want their child to, to live a better life, and her life, I guarantee, is a thousand times better. It's immeasurably, immeasurably. Does that mean it's perfect? Nobody's is. Absolutely not. But in the sense that any kind of um, 
any kind of option that may be laid out ahead of us, uh, it, it, you know, any decision I make, one of those distant points is like, is this going to increase the safety and stability of her future? Right? And, and I mean specifically, like, financially, right? Stability. Because it's a different generation altogether. What What is going to help plan for, for, for inevitability? If and when that, you know, she has to make a similar type of decision. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't kick yourself. You're not alone. No one's a special snowflake. Nobody. I know, that's what you're, you're told. Oh, everyone's a special snowflake. I'm not, I'm not into the, that as an idea. I'm like, eh... Mm, I don't know. We're all different. No doubt about that. Be yourself. But there's a lot of commonalities. And I think that when you when you start thinking that you are special, like in, you are unique in that sense, like in, and you have unique experiences, eh, yes, it's true. But there are also commonalities. You have to ground yourself in both. One, you are yourself. No doubt about that. There's only one you. Be the best you you can be. But also understand that the experiences you have are not unique. Good or bad. They're more than likely not that unique. If I'm painting broad brush strokes. So I kind of find myself in the middle on that side. If, if that was a thing to, to consider myself having a position on. Um, I just stretched, so we're good there. You know the Mighty Soap is just a gimmick. It's regular bubble soap. Yeah, I don't care. It's got it's got Mandalorian on the ha handle. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, Evan Channel says, Understandable had to do the same thing after leaving the military while going through a divorce. Not fun. Not fun. Big tonight on Twitch. Therapy and advice. Well, you never know. You never know. Uh... We're all sacks of meat powered by a meat blob in a bone cage. Yes, Miss Chiff 631. It's about time someone said that. Uh, uh, thank you, Hollywood N3D, for the cheer. The 100 bits. Very appreciated. Just like that. Right in front of me. Thank you very, very much. Then why would Barney the dinosaur sing you are special? I don't know. Print looking good as always. I think so. It's going to be a Darth Vader. And then after that, I'm going to print some uh, Star Wars checkers. Like I said, Friday nights tend to be a bit slower. I, I honestly uh, was not expecting to go the the, the deeper path here. Uh, but Bren, just because uh, I, 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 do, I, I do hope that anything that I said takes root and it at least kind of helps. Or that anything that anybody else says here in chat, generally speaking, I try to, to maintain a... a, a, a um, Hollywood and 3D gifted Evan Channel a subscription. What? Hollywood and 3D gifted a tier 1 sub to Evan Channel. Well, they have kind. given 4 gift subs in the channel. Thank you very much, Hollywood and 3D, for gifting the sub to Evan Channel. Um, I think yeah, I hit the 3D printer cam, it moved to the right a little. Well, Weather Gone Wild, probably. If it moved to the right, I doubt it was a ghost. Kind of goes without saying. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm not gonna, you know, fiddle with it. It's it's fine. Like the only the only time that it would be not fine is if like you know that happened or whatever. Then you can like say, oh my god, Chris, it it moved and ah. Uh, but you know, a slight gesture to the right or the left, probably not something to get worked up about. Just letting you know, there are many things to get stressed out about. That is not likely one of them. Uh, yeah, uh, it was really cool to see Joel Telling be able to work with Neil Patrick Harris. I mean, wow. Uh, I, 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 that was, that was a coup. That was a coup. I don't think that Neil Patrick Harris is necessarily going to be streaming all that much, but, uh, you know, still, it was pretty cool to see. Very cool to see. Uh, you've been through a lot of crap in your life. This is according to C. Travis 13. Proof that a light at the end of the tunnel does exist. It does. Always does, and trust me, I I I've, I I feel like just just as I feel like, oh man, I never want to do that again. Trust me, as as many times as I've avoided mistakes, I've found other ones. Ran smack dab into the middle of them, try to solve the problem. That's all I do is just double down, solve the problem. Feelings don't matter, just solve the problem, work through it. If it's a problem, solve it. Feelings are second to that. 
And sometimes it's difficult. There are times to process feelings and times to push through a task. You know, not everything has is, is, is got to be attributed to a feeling. Apart from feeling like my glasses are too dirty. That's a, it's a feeling I have right now. Look at that, Bo. I'm, I'm fixing the problem. Uh, Mischief631 said, I try to explain that to my parents. When something goes wrong and they freak out, I'm like, look, we can process this later. We got to fix it first. Yeah, kind of, Mischief. Yeah, fix it first. Feel later. Get it done. Because, you know, you can have your feelings, but it's still got to get done. You can feel all you want. It's still got to get done. I, I, don't, I don't care. Everything else is secondary. Get it done. It's like sitting around. Oh look, look, oh, look, there's a leak in the wall. How do I feel about that? Well, I don't feel good. Hmm. I, how about I just sit here and not feel good? No. Fix the problem. Move to fix the problem. Don't just think about fixing the problem. Don't just say, I need to fix that problem. Well, derp. Fix it. Sometimes you're, you're on your own. And you gotta, you gotta make do with what you got. You may not have the best tools, but you gotta work with what you got. And if all you got is bubble gum and a, a twisty tie, well, that's all you got. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, I sci-fi TV. I will. Uh, I'll loop back with you. Uh, can't right now, obviously. A little occupied, but we'll figure it out. What is Jedi doing out there? Screaming. Probably making messes. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Oh, great. I'm trying to keep things organized. Hence the, you can't get out anything new until you clean up what you already have out. That only works so far. Vader mask? Yeah, it's a little Vader. It's a... It's basically... I don't know that one. It's basically this Vader in a different filament. Hey, Joe Chashi. Good to see it. Thank you for cheering the bits. Very appreciated. So I spill the bits everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's right. Brit got... Her her resin quote unquote printer that's, that's still too much for me man I'm I'd still be incredibly worried incredibly oh fix him dude I was gonna ask you actually have you done a cam tono like a Mandalorian cam tono because I, I I keep looking for one and and uh, I have not found a suitable cam tono yet a viable cam tono not to say I would print it in gray. There are a few other common uh, items that I, I do want to print in gray. And I just didn't get um, um, the uh, uh, the headphone stand started in enough time today to keep it going uh, throughout the broadcast. So I was like, well, what else have I not done? Well, I haven't done the uh, um, uh, the smaller prints, right, that I wanted to do, the, uh, the Darth Vader. Let me zoom in a tiny bit. Eh, it's a little nicer. Bit by bit. That's a at a 1.5 mm layer height. Pretty sharp, sharp enough. There we go. 
Uh, no, you have to check it out. Looked it up the other day when I mentioned it. Yeah, it's 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 like a little basket. It's like a little bucket of sorts. Uh, it's an ice cream maker. That's what it was originally modeled on back in the Empire Strikes Back days. Like a real ice cream maker. And then it turned into like a carrying case. A cam tono is what they call it. Cam tono. And I, like I said, th I've seen designs that look okay, but they're like way too complex. Loyal Moses taking a break from admiring his full... Thank you so much for the bits. 333. Ho hope the horse rearing. Is that, is that, can I say it that way? Horse rearing is, is going well. Like, like, I don't even know what, what it's like. I would, I would not know. Don't want to know. Uh, how to rear a horse, how to raise a horse, how to brush a horse, how to ride a horse. I have ridden horses before. Like, I couldn't tell you. There's probably, like, certain kind of breeds that do this and certain kind of breeds that do that. But congratulations. This was the plan to have the horse. I was joking on Twitter. It has your nose. Yeah, you saw that. <laughs> just... What does one say? You can't. I don't think you can go to the Hallmark store. I'm like, my friend just had a horse. Do you have a... My friend just had a horse card. They look at you like, get out. Go buy an ornament on your way out. You don't talk about their rear? Really loyal. Well, I know this about horses. Never walk behind a horse's rear because they could kick you. I heard that. I did I did learn that. Not the hard way. Thank God. Like, that would not be a lesson I would want to learn. That would not be something I would ever want to know. Being kicked by a horse. Generally speaking, I try to avoid that. That's like one of the... Th it's like, you know, as bad of a day I, as I as anybody might be having, at least you didn't get kicked by a horse. Unless, of course, you did. At which point, well, where did you get kicked? Well, I got kicked in the arm. Well, you could have get gotten kicked in the crotch. That which one would you rather had? There's always a, there's always a worse place to get kicked. Well, maybe not. I mean, there's ultimately like the worst place to get kicked, but I'm just saying, there's always, there's a silver lining. Well, at least you weren't kicked so that you couldn't have baby horses if you wanted to, you know. Actually, I don't think that would work. Uh, oh, boy, both Loyal and Liz are here at the same time. Are you colluding? Is this collusion? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just a, it's a very uh, subdued evening. Uh, Friday evening, everything's low key. I gave some fatherly advice. Oh, thank you, Builders Mark. I think that might be the Cam Tono that I've seen before, though. It, it, it's not exactly what I'm looking for. Crispy69 just resubscribed for 20 months. What? Hell yeah. no world. Unbelievable. That's a long time. Yeah, see this Cam Tono? Way too many pieces, dude. Riding 13 CK1 shared X1000. Well, oh my god. So, Chris, Cruise Beast 69 subscribed for 20 months with Prime. Three minutes after, Loyal Moses cheered 333 bits, and then Radnicky cheered 1,000 bits. So that means that we have kicked off a hype train. We're in level 2. Damn. I was not expecting this. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and put on the helmet and give you a very bad accent. The dark helmet accent. I I don't know how far we make it today, but I can promise you this. If we get all the way through a level five hype train, everyone gets a million Perillo popcorn. I'm confident I have that. I can give a hundred No 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 not a hundred. Uh, a million Perillo popcorn. My numbers. I'm a little fuzzy on my numbers. So, uh, with any luck, we will make it through a level five. Royal Moses has just gifted 20 subs. That might have just done it. Loyal Moses coming in with 20 tier one community sub gifts after Joe Tashi cheered 50 and Vixen Dude cheered 100 and Liz cheered 100 as well. Uh, are we done? We are done. Apparently, that was it. That's that's all it took. Uh, Loyal coming in with an unbelievable, incredible 20 tier 1 community sub gifts 
Evan Channel coming with 100 bits after that. Level 5 Hype Train is complete. 148% uh, complete. Thank you, Jutashi, for the 10 bits there. Let me go ahead and give everybody those million points. Jotashi, thank you for the 100. Let's go ahead. I do sound like Dark Helmet. That's the idea. When I put this on, I, I feel like my accent becomes Dark Helmet. So uh, this is my Dark Helmet voice, as it were. Ah, uh, everyone gets a million Perillo popcorn, just like I promised. As long as I get the right amount of zeros there. Almost gave everybody 10 million. That would have been fun. Rad Nikki, thank you for the additional 25 and for helping kick off the hype train. Unbelievable. 20. I can't believe that. 20 tier 1 get uh, this loyal. Ma baby horses should be born on your ranch more often. That's that's unreal. Keep the horse though. I'm not asking I don't think I don't think you can I don't think you can give gift horses on Twitch. I don't think that's a thing. I wouldn't know what to do with a horse. Like, you know, can you imagine if someone gave you the gift of a horse? Like, what am I going to do with it? Like, that's that's like giving someone a plant that you have to water and maintain. Like, what am I going to do with this? You're giving me something that I can't I can't take care of. I can't even take care of myself, let alone a plant or a horse. How many holes do you put in the box to ship a horse? Asking a friend. Uh... At least 10 big holes. But but you got to be careful about the holes. The holes ha can't, they have to be big enough that the horse can breathe, but small enough that the horse can't get through. Because uh, there have been people who have made mistakes putting big holes in the boxes, and then the horse just escapes. But, you know, you left the barn door open, kind of like, you know, leaving your fly unzipped. As they say, oh, oh, don't leave the barn door open. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to have to take this off. Start the next print. This is the Vader and the Vader. Oh, did I knock something here? Oh, no, I've got like some kind of voice thing going on. Um, give me a second. There we go. I can't exactly see perfectly through this mask. Bren just cuz just subscribed. But look at that, Bren just cuz. Just subscribing. Tier 1. Welcome aboard, Bren. You're officially one of us. Started with a raid. Now we're here. Gonna print some Star Wars checkers now. Four Star Wars checkers. Shouldn't take too long. I want to say a little over an hour. Hour 28. That's how long you have to suffer with me. Bridges Cuz says, thought I deserved it for the advice. Well, thank you. And I do hope it helps. Or at least gives you a few things to think about. How did I not? Why did, what is? What? How did that? How do I turn it off? No, nope, that's not it. That's definitely. I did not. Did did not mean to do that. Each horse is about 10k to 20k a year in cost. You have 12. Oh my god. Uh, that would be a great reason not to have horses unless you love them that much. You might. I, I, I definitely do not. I don't. I would not even love a dog that much. I'd be like, mm, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the uh, the hype train pushing us through. Uh, very, very appreciated. Extremely appreciated. Extremely appreciated. Couldn't have done it without you, obviously. And I'm very happy to be here and, and talking with you. As we begin the second print of the evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Iran Deer is gaming. Uh, is Iran Deer gaming though? Is, is it really? Are you, or are you watching me not game? Can you do that? If you're a gamer, is it okay for you to watch a stream that's not related to gaming? It's good. Good night. Yes, thank you, Bren, just because. Take care. And, 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 and do take special care um, given the circumstances uh, and, and like I said, I do hope that at least one thing that I might have mentioned during the course of my, uh, um, what would you call it? Uh, talk? I guess it kind of was. Pontification? That's probably more accurate. Uh, hopefully that helped. Uh, 
you posted another one which is only four pieces i've seen hey da david randolph you just missed a, a level five hype train you, you just missed getting a million points buddy you just missed it like you, by a hair i think i've seen the four piece print but it's more, more that's that me yeah see that's a smaller one built for to even that to me is overkill that's great for a six inch figure that cam tono it's even got the best car steel i thought about actually i see those best car ingots with this filament i might actually print some best car ingots that might be kind of fun uh i might do that now that i'm thinking about it but the best the the, the cam tono i'm looking for to print would just be like two two pieces top and then the like the the container anything beyond that i feel is going to be overkill for me uh more like a container so now that dr andoff's here and loyal and are you are y'all like communicating in the back channel like oh we need to go t we need to go talk to chris we need to go right now david just wants to see if i'm still using the jesse pla and obviously i am No, no, we've been printing nonstop. No, seriously, I, I, we did. I, I just printed off the uh, Vader tester helmet. Got to peel the supports off. See, I told you, David cries at the drop of a pin. At the drop of a pin, David's like, ah, waterfalls. All right, taking the uh, supports here off the Vader. See how well this works. Oh, this is a nice color for the Vader. This overcast gray. I really like the overcast gray a lot. Then again, I am from Seattle, so it's kind of a given. Oh, you're from Seattle? You must like the rain. Uh, I, I do, actually, yes. What? You like the rain? Yes. Well, why do you like the rain? Because it doesn't burn my skin? Because I never get too hot? Because I don't break a sweat in the rain? Is that a good enough reason to like the rain? Yeah, but you get wet. As opposed to getting wet with my own sweat. Getting wet with your own sweat is fun. Really? According to who? The internet, man. That's, that's where the truth is all told. Someone broadcast the bat signal. <laughs> is that why all three y'all are here? Well, it's good to have you here. Good to see you tonight. An otherwise slow night. Friday nights tend to be a little more slow. And plus, like, you know, today's big stream with uh, 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 Neil Patrick Harris and um, uh, Joel Telling. I can only imagine a lot of people are, have got to be like, oh, okay, that's enough live streaming for today. So I'm very grateful everyone's here. Builders Mark, thank you so much for linking off to those uh, those Cam Tonos uh, there. I did, I was aware of those, not exactly what I'm looking for, but I am going to loop back with one of them and possibly just print off some Beskar steel ingots, specifically uh, in the uh, overcast gray Jesse PLA. So. Are you guys doppelgangers? You just wanted to work doppelganger into a sentence. Honestly, I think uh, this is what happened. David David Randolph woke up today and said, like, I, I gotta figure out how to use doppelganger in a sentence. How the hell am I gonna do this? I'm gonna work it into conversation. So he like goes to McDonald's. They ask, "What can I get for your order?" So I would like fries and a doppelganger. Like they're like, "What?" Never mind. fries and a hamburger. I guess it's fine. Then he's been trying to work it awkwardly into conversation, and he finally got the excuse he was looking for. He's like, "Yes, I can finally use doppelganger in a conversation today, and it's gonna make sense." <laughs> uh. Uh. So. Uh, if I can put together as a two-piece, would you print it? Yeah, I'd give it a shot. Like I said, I, I need the, basically the base and like, you know, like an empty, it doesn't need to be huge. Like it's just something like a Cam Tono, kind of like a, a pencil cup holder, like a, something like this, something small. And, and then the lid goes on top, but the walls, you know, look like a Cam Tono all around. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been looking for. Like that'd be great to print off a Cam Tono, just to have one version but look in looking for another one haven't been able to find one uh, what the hell god what is going on with the system i'm gonna turn off that monitor maybe that does the trick
Really? Sorry, I've lost chat for a second. Started with the chatters, now we're here. Okay, no, let's, oops. Let's go ahead and flip to that view. Um, sorry, I missed that uh, for a second. Give me, let me get a second. Pezla's got nanobots today. Haha, <laughs> funny. Um, Evan Channel says, I've been watching me. Sorry, Evan has been watching me since my Windows Vista video days. Oh, Lord, you're feeling old. You feel old. I'm the one who did it. Thank you for uh, for popping in. It's live streaming every night at 6 p.m. Pacific. Builder's Mark, thank you for your help with the Cam Tono. I do appreciate it. There's, there's, there's at least... I, I want to use some of the... I have, uh, like... I want, um... Or maybe even another color, and I've got a certain reason for it that I don't want to. I don't want to. What the hell? It happened again. Okay, I'm unplugging because that seems to fix the problem that I'm running into now after the most recent software update. This is just driving me up the friggin' wall. Ugh. Oh, I gotta do this too, son of a. Liz, I can't see you. I can't see anything right now, dude. Hang on. Liz, stop. Hang on. I can't. I'm have. I'm running into some slight snags here. Give me a second. Like I, I I'm having. I'm literally this since a software update. This, 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 there's something that's not been right specifically with this system. Oh, freeze. Thank you. Okay. Um, I can do that. Just like, maybe that is it. How how is it not? Why is it? Thank you, David. Really appreciate that support and for unfreezing me. I'm not the only one having issues. Well, here's the issue that I'm having. I literally, I'm do, I do nothing, and I think it's it's specifically when I'm connected to an external uh, monitor slash like a dock of sorts. And what happens is I literally everything gets locked out. Like not not even something where I can use the the Touch ID on the system on the Mac. Like everything, like you, I have to like re-enter everything. All the the programs are basically shut down. It's just like a complete boom. It's not a kernel panic because I don't get kicked completely out as a reboot. That would be nuts. But it's something else that's going on, dude. And I, I like I like I said, if I unplug from the external um, monitor or the external uh, system, it seems to do okay. So it just it, 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 this was only an anomaly that started uh, happening after the most recent software update this past week. So I just can't help but wonder if it's if it's something related to that. That's that's my feeling. Uh, loyal boy, he's just doubling things over. Look at that, double double. Y'all are gambling. Y'all are having too much fun. Too much fun with the gambling. But you know, can you have too much fun with the gambling? Is that is that such a thing? Can you do that? Because I'm like flipping my bits everywhere. Yeah, flipping my bits. <laughs> yeah, flipping my bits. Yeah, see, loyal, loyal. This is what loyal did. Loyal worked as much as David worked the the word doppelganger into conversation today. Loyal worked the word foal. Like you know, he went he went to McDonald's. He said, "What can I get for your order?" It's like I will have a hamburger and uh, my foal will have some fries. Pardon me, sir. Uh, I, fries i need i need fries for my <laughs> i had a full it's a baby horse or yeah so i gotta get the fries for it you know that's all uh it wants the fries and uh and in and, and, and the mcdonald's clerk is clerk worker employee sir this is a wendy's 
Yeah, I still had a full. Sir, you need to tell Twitter. I did. Come on, we've all done something like that. Like, like, Jedi's been doing that lately, too. So here's the, here's the surprise. I mentioned this last night, so since everyone's here, you're all going to love this. Jedi went to the eye doctor yesterday, and she's getting glasses. So in another couple weeks, she's actually going to be wearing glasses. And according to the tests that I witnessed myself, and my, my own concerns as a parent in watching her every day, uh, it's going to be a dramatic improvement. So the glasses are going to help her see in ways that she cannot see before. So now every friend that she runs into, she works that into conversation. That's like the first thing. Hey, how you doing? I'm getting glasses. <laughs> so that That's Loyal with his fool and David with his doppelganger. Hey, how you doing? I, I have a doppelganger. I'm, I'm a doppelganger. It's the only German I know. It's, I know, it's, it's very... It's very uh, Schadenfreude. That's, I also know that German. Just trying to work that into conversation, too. Ah, Donka. Ah, look at me. Ah, ah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Get those glasses insured. Yeah, it, they're, they're very... I need to... What I'm looking for is... And I look for, like, stands that I can print, and there are glasses stands that I can print... But one of the reasons I was thinking like a Camtono is I could print print out a Camtono and just say, all right, Jedi, when you go to bed at night, put your glasses in here. That way you know where they are. So I'm looking to do like a Camtono for that. Uh, and so uh, I thought that would be a neat little container. If, if, if I can't find one or, or, or get one, uh, then the next step would be maybe one of those Jedi cups that, uh, that was done a, a couple of weeks ago. And uploaded to Prusa Printers. The, uh, sorry, the... What were they called again? The cups, the... Now, I've, I've, I'm, I'm spacing. Something cups. I'm blanking. Cut Something cups. And I'm, I'm totally blanking. I printed one. And had fun with it. Uh, luckily your aunt worked for the optometrist. But Chris Perlo on your credit card for sure. Lost mine in a part in cars, birthday parties. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely on the credit card. Uh... Zenny has some new carbon fiber frames. Oh, those would be nice. Loyal says, my foal, the one we just had, we have horses, and, and one had a foal. That foal wouldn't eat french fries. Because foals, that, that one foal we just had last night, that, that newborn foal doesn't eat fries. We had a foal. Did you, did you know? I'm full of it. Ah, you get it? Because uh, foal, baby horse. Why don't they call them baby horses, right? Why'd they have to make up like a completely new word? Like... You know, that didn't make sense to anybody. Yeah, we, we, we just had a baby horse. Excuse me, what? A, a foal. Oh, why didn't you say that? The hell's a baby horse? Call it a foal, freak. Uh, by the way, the uh, Darth Vader came out great. I think. Perfect. Amazing. Outstanding. What's this? Okay, don't need that. Got to clear off my notifications because I'm waiting to hear back from somebody else here. Uh, so, yes, the Gray Vader is perfect. Perfect! Like, amazing! You think my best conversations with myself, Loyal, if you think about it, like, that's, that's a live stream, dude. That's, like, my entire live stream is me talking to myself. In many ways, answering myself. I mean, it's nice to have interactivity. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, oh, thank you. Highlighted message. There's a highlighted message. Best place to get glasses. You got card for it. Costco. Well, we got we got some at the doctor's office, just because it was easy, and they seem to be durable. Don't know about Costco, but maybe depending on how everything goes. Um. Oh. Iran Deering is gaming. Yeah. Okay, Chris. Thank you. Cruise Beast 69 That's your brother? I did not know that. Now I know that. That's great. I saw Iran Deer, um last week, I think? Or the other day? I, I did not make the association, so if I missed that, uh, I apologize. 
So uh, I did I did mention to uh, Randir uh, is gaming. I said, can you be gaming if you're watching someone? Are you really gaming if you're watching someone not gaming? And he says it was loading, so uh, that was cool. You've been off in here for a few times this week. I've noticed. I noticed the small things. Everybody swears by getting glasses at Costco. Well, that's great. Depending on these, we're, we're going to see what happens with these for now. We just It was just kind of like, it was simple for a first pair. We've got our prescription. We can take them elsewhere. I have a feeling we're going to be getting like some kind of backup. As a backup, as a backup, because I was a kid and I've had, you know, I've had glasses. These are far, the glasses we're getting are far more durable. Far more durable. Um than, than uh, anything that I ever had, that's for sure. For kids, get them at the optometrist. Well, yeah, that's the idea. Every, I mean, I would take them to Costco. I have no problem with that. I, I don't have a problem, personally. Deviously Mango, good to see you. Let's go ahead and give a shout-out to Deviously Mango. Uh, if I can type, can I type? I cannot, apparently. What the? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I'm using keyboard shortcuts on the, uh, on the wrong um, operating system. Oops. Oops. Oopsie doopsies. Uh, I got my glasses at the optometrist because they're, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to say they're special, but uh, I have picked up glasses at Costco before. I wasn't that impressed. I tend not to look at prices. When it comes to glasses, I tend not to look at prices, and I probably should, but it's like, you know, is it easy? Is it straightforward? Is it a mess? And, uh, you know, how well, how well do they work? I've had these glasses for a couple years now. They're nice. Thin. These are not bifocals, but the uh, progressives. I'm now in progressives. I'm at that age. Uh, it's true. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how uh, her uh, her glasses adventure goes. But like I said, every night, put them in there. Put them in the. So I've got to. I have to print this item. For her to put her glasses in every single night. And Loyal coming in, mentioning the friggin' foal. Boy, do horses wear... Now, here's a question for you. Serious question. I really don't know, because I'm stupid. Do, do, do horses wear glasses? Do animals wear glasses? Can they... Can they? Do they do that? Liz had a better day than I did. Watch too much Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Pff, must be nice. After the jewel stream, had popcorn for supper. Pfft, lucky. My arm hurts, but good. Loyal had. Loyal just cleared a hype train in record time here. How about you? Well, yeah, it was pretty fast. It was like, it was over before it began. Like, woo. You even booked your LM tattoo removal. Really? Now I'm curious. What tattoo are you removing? Like, I, I don't. I don't think I'm ever going to get a, a tattoo. And, nor will I be, like, you know, all judgy when Jedi wants one, because I'm pretty sure she will. Like, eh, it's, it's a thing. Uh, do your thing. I'm like, it's, it's your body. Ain't mine, dude. Just understand the consequences. You know, you get it, you get a, a mustache tattooed on your face. Hey, it's your it's your face. Oh, your loyal Moses tattoo. Oh, deviously. Wow. He didn't say hi during the NPH stream. Well, I, I, I feel bad now. Is that is that the uh, uh, Neil per hour stream? NPH instead of miles per hour, Neil's per hour. See, that's what I would have said. And then and Neil Patrick Harris, because of course you know I know him by his full name, and that's what everybody calls him. And the only way, you know, the only time we ever talk about people like when they have three names, usually when they're like you know serial killers or like mass murderers. Like, Neil Patrick Harris today took... Like, whoa, dude! What are you... Seriously? He only attacked people who had 3D printers and extruded filament. But, what? Oh, my God! That Yeah, that Neil Patrick Harris, man. No one knows him as Neil Harris. It has to be Neil Patrick Harris. One Neil per hour? Oh, man. See, that's I totally would have done that, and he probably would have said, Ah, I've never heard that joke before. Ha, 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 ha. Because inevitably, that's what I do. Like I, I tell the easy jokes. The jokes that everybody else already knew. Chris Loyal says, If I drop enough bits, you'll get an LM tattoo. Uh, mm, no, I've never been moved or motivated to get... I love Star Wars. I am not rocking a Star Wars tattoo. I, I don't like pain, dude. I'm like, I'm no... <laughs> Mark H. wins for the pun of the night. Kneel before Zod. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. That is that's the win. You win, dude. That is awesome. Oh my god. Someone needs to Photoshop that, right? Like Zod like blurred out in the Where's Seeny up when you need him? There he is. You need to have Zod blurred out in the background and Neil Patrick Harris in the foreground and then say Neil before Zod. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Zod's in the background, like the, in the old Zod, right? You know, the original Zod from the the Christopher Reeve Star Wars, right? Star Wars, uh, Superman, you know, ser uh, uh, movie, right? Superman 2. And then Neil in the foreground, like Neil before Zod. Oh my god. Oh my god. I dude, see me up if you do that, I'm tweeting it. I, I, unless Mark's going to tweet it. I want to tweet that. Like, I totally want it. Because that's what I see, right? Neil, and it's like, and it should be Neil before Zod, you know? And that's it. Is these Photoshop puns, man. I can't Photoshop to save my ass. Like, if my life depended on it, I would die. Uh, Retro Red Wing is asking what I'm printing right now. Well, earlier, I was doing just a Darth Vader helmet, a tester Darth Vader helmet. In the Jesse PLA from Printed Solid, this is overcast gray. Right now, I'm just printing some checker pieces in gray. Uh, not that exciting. Uh, Mark H. suggests no words. See, now, I want to do that. I would want to tweet it without words, but my feeling is, like, you, you kind of need words to set the context. Maybe I shouldn't. What would make a better tweet? Neil before Zod with... With the word, like, explain Neil before Zod, or, like, the Photoshop without the words. Like, what, to me, I would do it without words, but so many people are so, they're dense, and they won't get it, right? Like, but it's like, if you see it, then you get it, right? And I think it has to be, I think it has to be that way, you know, Neil before, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd write it out. Uh, Ethan's Dad 3D, I, thank you. I, I appreciate that you missed me on Joel's stream. Uh, it would have been awesome to be there, but uh, today uh, I kind of got bogged down with uh, with work stuff and, and details and other random tasks, uh, so I could not uh, I could not make it. Uh, you know, I, I, I it was it was a surprise uh, to to see that it came together. It was very impressive. Um, unfortunately, this Friday, as I pointed out, uh, feels more like a Monday. Uh, this this Friday has been very Monday esque. That's why, hence the title, is Today Monday. Um, I should probably change the title. Like, gray, overcast gray is great. There we go. So we say, overcast gray on a, uh, a farty Friday, on a farty Friday. Farty Friday? I just said farty. Overcast gray on, overcast, overcast gray on a farty Friday. There we go. That's funny. Here is Zod. Put Neil in front of him. There you go. H hand that off to Cru uh, uh, hand that off to uh, uh, not not Cruise Beast. Uh, Seeny up. Seeny up could pull it off. I'm actually not looking forward to, to summer. Someone call. I'm having a stroke. I am. Okay. <laughs> I just can't talk. That's the problem. I've got spoonerisms in my brain. Spoonerisms are fun. I love spoonerisms. Give me a second. Bloop. Hmm. Oh, I see. I was a little concerned that something else was off, but I'm good. I'm good. There are times raise both arms over my head. I it's Liz, come on, dude. This is a challenge for me right now. Oh, you son of a Thank you, Evan. I love you, new sub of mine. I love you more than Liz. It's better. It's better. It's better today. Last night was painful. 
Has anybody ever kicked themselves in their own nuts? Sorry, I just had that. It's just a, it's just a passing thought. Has anybody ever done that? I don't, I, I don't think I've done it. Nor would I want to do it. Nor would I would necessarily encourage you. There, someone has, Evan, really? I, I really don't know where that thought came from. It just like out of the blue. It was like, has that ever happened? This is. Has this ever happened? I suddenly I turned into Annie Rooney. Has this ever happened? How do I get these? There we go. So I guess I have to, to splay them out. I have to push them apart. The X-Wing stuff. So now Jedi will have some uh, thrifted uh, small figurines and vehicles to play with. Although I'm concerned about handing her the small figurines because those things disappear quickly. And I don't like that. I don't like it when things I've organized disappear quickly. Loyal Moses says, no, but my foal, foal I just had last night, our new one, it can kick you. Really? Like, do foals, like, come out and, like, has any, ha okay, so let me ask you this. Has a foal ever, like, come out the shoot? Is that, is that the technical term? The shoot? Is there a special word for it? Like, the blimdaxer? Like, you know, if you can call a baby horse a, a foal, then why can't a mother horse's shoot be called the blimdaxer? Like, that just makes as much sense to me. Because you can't call it the mother shoot, right? It's the blimdaxer, right? Has ever has has any foal ever come out of blimdaxer and immediately kicked someone in the nuts? I'm I'm curious. Oh, the vet uses that term, the shoot. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. I, I, hell, here I thought I was gonna coin something else. Thought I was gonna, the blimdaxer made made more sense to me than the shoot. The shoot. How uncivilized. I used to play shoots and ladders. It's been a while. I've seen shoots and ladders thrifting. Haven't picked one up yet. It's probably in the next game that we should play with Jedi, I'm sure. No, nah, frigate. Frigate. Uh, it's the Blimdaxer. Come on. Loyal, I'm trying to make it a thing. Kick Chris in the nets. Donate $5. Call it a day. No, I would never, like, sign up for that booth. Cruise the Beast. Oh, sorry. Cruise be Chris... Uh, thank you, uh, for, for popping off. Liz gave you a shout out. Everyone give Chris a follow there. Cruise Beast, s s Cruise Beast 69, right there, on Twitch, streaming a lot of scary stuff. Phasmophobia. I, I, it's just, just way too much, way too scary for me. I can't do it, man. I, 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 I piss my pants every time I tune into the stream. Like, if I want to piss my pants... Like I'll just do it on my own. Like I don't, I don't need like someone to, you know, do something. Like I just, like you know what? I, I just, I'm feeling it. Screw it. I'll pick it up later. Like I'm good. I'll do it on my own. I do not need the piss scared out of me. I just don't. Not my thing. Yeah, Captain Phas, Captain Phasma greater than Fa Phantasmagoria or whatever. Fa Fa Phasmagoria. Phantasmagoria. Uh, David Randolph coming in with a million dollar idea. Next time you have a full, have the mother give birth at the top of a hill with a slip and slide that goes through a loop at the bottom. Dude! Oh, I'd sign up for that. Like, there, it'd be, like, competitive. It'd be, like, an Olympics thing. Like, horse birthing. Sorry. Full birthing. Because we can't call them baby horses. That's what they are. But no, they're not, they're not baby horses. They are full. Shooting right out the blimdaxer. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm not gonna let it go. That's, it's, that's, that's it as far as I'm concerned. Panfred Nuno here. How many bits to get you to play that game? Uh, not enough. I, Loyal doesn't have enough bits to get me to play that game. Loyal could come in here with 10,000 bits. I still would not play that game. He has come in with 10,000 bits before. Uh, no, I'm just saying. It's not going to... I'm not... Mm -mm, nope. Definitely not into the game. At all. I, I know a lot of people like playing like the scary games. Like, oh my god. Ah. I'm like, mm, no. No. Even when I like turn turn her, yeah, ten thousand bits is pocket change. Yeah, no doubt. The Blimdaxer. The uh, uh, so like when I start playing games, it'll be back on this screen. Assuming that computer starts to that that computer plays nicely. I, seriously, I wonder if other people are having this issue that I'm having. I should probably look it up. Um. So even there, I would not play a scary game. Uh, Mark H. asking what kind of games do I like to play? I don't play them all that often. I mean, I, I kind of go through spurts. Uh, typically casual. 
typically like Tetris, you know, very simple, straightforward, easy, fun, pick them up, put them down, nothing overly complex. Star Wars stuff I enjoy, although not every new Star Wars game is something that I get into outright. Not every Lego game. I've never played through a Lego game completely. Tomorrow, that said, tomorrow it's my hope to at least begin, I have no idea how long it's going to last, to at least begin the uh, the Darth Vader helmet collection, or I'm sorry, Dark Vador helmet collection, Vader. The only disappointment with this is that it doesn't come with a bonus uh, unique Darth Vader minifigure. That would make this even better. But it is a, a unique bust. Unique up on it. So, yeah. I am definitely definitely going to be uh, cracking open that box and getting to it. So thought that I'd do that all day Tuesday. Well, that's May the 4th. And my feeling is, when I look at that, like, I can't... A, a I do have to work on, on May the 4th. Like, I, I it is a work day for me. But, um... It may end up being one of those things, like much like I was printing the, the the walls, the Death Star surface tiles over you know a period of time. Depending on how this turns out, I may just end up doing like building like a a a, a bag a night of the Darth Vader because I mean as much as I would like to just spread it out everywhere, it may end up having to be a multi day project starting on like Saturday, starting tomorrow, and then potentially leading up till. May the 4th, because today is the 30th, so it's one, two, three, six. it could take four days to complete, which is, you know, it's a nice, it's nice pacing, and maybe I'll do, uh, maybe I'll start on Sunday, because I feel like getting through, what is it, 800, 834 pieces shouldn't take, I could do it in an afternoon, um, I could try shooting all the way through on May the 4th, I could, I could try. That's that's that, that's my day. May the 4th is my day. 24-hour stream, finish in one sitting. Oh, Mark H. All right, maybe... Okay, fine. May the 4th. That makes sense. I, I believe I can do it all in one night. If y'all promise to stay up with me and, and provide moral support, because that's going to be a long-ass stream, as opposed to a long-ass stream, which is like my normal streams. They're just long-ass streams, but no, like a long-ass stream, not long ass stream you know you, do you understand the difference do you feel the difference i i do uh true fun fact china has their may holiday that ends on may the 4th oh interesting i did not know that i did not know that we may be pushing through uh to uh, uh revenge of the fifth because i have no idea how long it's going to take you know complexities you know you're running into hurdles etc 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 but uh you know why snakes without tongues are very dangerous, right? They sneak up on you. Yeah, because they don't go. Because uh, it's a stretch, loyal, but it'll pass. Uh, I, I I approve this message. I'm Chris Perillo, and I approve this message. You would have scheduled that day off. It's a national holiday. I agree. I would love to take May Fourth off. I just don't think that like my my superiors would be like all happy. Like, wait a minute, you don't take your birthday off, but you you take off. May the 4th, Star Wars Day? Really? Are you normal? Like, my my answer to that question is, do you know me? Like, at all? So, yeah, that's... I, 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 I tend not to take days off of work. Tend not to. That's, again, 6 p.m. Pacific, get people in that flow. It'll be, it'll be a, it'll be a, an, a momentous occasion. Another thing I got today that came in the mail as a backup, because the other one broke, unfortunately, years ago. Disney Parks sold these uh, Darth Vader TIE Fighter bubble machines. And the other one that I had broke, unfortunately. So I ended up getting a new one. The nice thing about this one, look at that Darth Vader on the side. Look at that box. The box is a very nice box. This is a bubble machine. It's a very nice bubble machine. I don't know what's happening with the machine that Diana said that she was going to repair. I don't even know where the hell it is. Um, ow, my back, my back, my back. Yeah, I also got a backup. We had one of these, and me, we have a couple of them, but for when it's time to swim, a light-up Death Star toy. It'll be nice. I think it'll be nice. Woot. Uh, what do we have? 
Full. It's not a full. It's a Death Star ball. Kneel before Zod. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you gotta. Yeah, see me up. But yeah, but that's a good one. I may use that. But you got. It's gotta be Neil Patrick Harris in the foreground, and then a blurred out background with Zod back there. So you can see it's Zod, right? But it's blurred out. And then Neil Patrick Harris in the foreground. Then it's Neil before Zod. So Zod's in the back. Neil's in the front. You know what I'm saying? That's the visual right there. That's what I'm thinking. That's I, I could probably try to Photoshop it, but given that I don't have Photoshop, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm the worst. How can you not have Photoshop? I don't. It's not. I don't have a printer. Nor do I have a full. Do it with Microsoft Paint. I might. Does, does Paint. Do I have Paint? I might. Does it still. Do I still have like 3D Paint on here? Is that 3D Paint? Uh, 3D Viewer. Paint 3D. I guess I do. I have Paint 3D. Should I Paint 3D it? Will that do it? Not exactly the same. Eh, it's a fun looking app. Every time I look at a, a more modern Windows app, I always kind of feel like, oh, Microsoft, what, what happened? You still use Paint, not 3D Paint? Oh, wow. Wait, is MS Paint still there? Now you got yeah, MS Paint. Paint. It is. Oh my God! In all its crappy ribbon glory, you want to you want to talk about something that looks dated? Actually, is WordPad? How does WordPad look these days? Yeah, that's dated. Anything with a ribbon looks dated to me. Looks like incredibly like klutzy. Like ugh. or get Gimp Shop. Yeah, too much. Inkscape's not bad, but it's it's it's, it's kind of overkill for a lot of the stuff that I do, a lot of the stuff that I might be uh, interested in using, or needing to use, right? Like the things that you know, in a pinch, in a moment's notice, something I might need to address. Uh, I guess we'll put that down there. You want a dot matrix printer to make banners? Oh, you should, dude. I uh, every so often I might find one thrifting. Not that I'm gonna buy it. I won't. I I if I see it, I I I walk past. I've seen old Mac computers, like S Mac SEs. I've come this close to buying them. This close. Just to have, like, an, an old Mac, like, right there, I think would be fun. I don't know where I... The problem is I don't know where I would put it. it you know. Like, where am I... It doesn't... I don't have, like, a, a retro section. I'm not David Randolph or anything. I don't have, like, these miles and miles of nothing but miles and miles, like, loyal... So I've got a limited space right now. Although, like I said, I think, you know, one of my distant goals is like, well, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? I, I'm like, wh what's my what's my end game? And I think part of it is to have that kind of space. I don't know what I would do with all of it, but, you know, just to... Uh, you never know. 3D Print is a decent free program. Used to make some transparent photos. Oh, nice. I, I tend to get by anymore with a lot of web-based stuff. Although I do have desktop utilities i do have desktop apps um yeah chris is talking to everyone while chris is talking to me well that's funny i sci-fi tv sorry sorry about that why is google's logo blank today in chrome it is it is completely blank uh okay so this is what am i on i am on uh Uh, what, um... Ah, oh, great. Wow. Yeah, apparently the issue I'm having is... Zalfian just resubscribed for two months. Thank Hello. You, thank you so much for resubbing, Zelfian. Appreciate the support. Using your Prime Gaming sub. Very appreciated. How's my hunt for a property? Think you do a flea market? I, I, it's, not, it's nowhere right now. Um... Yeah, it seems that all of my 
issues are related because like i'm as soon as i unplug from my external like my dock like it's fine but the moment i plug it in seemingly using chrome on the desktop specifically it has an issue like it's only during this time that i have a problem and i don't i don't know how to further nail it down it could very well be something that's snagging in the browser but given that other people have had uh similar issues weird and not a lot of people a lot of pe some people are having issues with external monitor even with uh, the big sur 11.3 so i don't even know if this is going to get patched i may i may just have to like when it comes time to, to do the live stream this way on this machine in this particular use case i may not have any choice but to um go wireless on on the on the computer sorry I'm, I'm trying to troubleshoot a problem that i've been having recently since the update it is violet what the hell are you talking it is violet doesn't get any more violet than that dude what the hell starting raffles and asking for violet throwing me off man it looks bluish no 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 blue is this that's blue this is violet periwinkle ish kinda oops I'm looking, um, some users switching the monitor off and on, unplug the tape cable, all right, turned it off, if I plug it in again, see what happens, you can try disconnecting, check your cable, don't rely on battery power, well, let your Mac tape. This, none of this helps. Remove any chained adapters. Check the brightness, contrast, resolution. Test with an alternative monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, hang on. Oops, displays. Okay, there's that. Hold on the option key. Oh, come on. Really? Where's the tech displays? So if I unplug. sure what's going on and none of this is helping did not like that sound sure I'm going to be able to solve that pro this problem that problem this problem whatever problem dang it mm, dang it mm, beavis mm. let me try this have a good night yes good 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 night ice TV, and thank you pro snipex 
for following. Yeah, this the issue that I've been having is like um, I'm working just fine using Chrome and remote desktop, doing the stream, and then suddenly, like out of the blue, like not doing anything, it'll basically like, kick me out, and then I get the login prompt, and that, I'm like, like it just shuts down. It's not a kernel panic. That would be a complete reboot. This is not a reboot, and so it's just it's absolutely friggin' bizarre, and it only just started happening. I have had virtually no issues with it until now and now it seems that it's the external thing so I, I if i turn off the external monitor and plug and unplug i'm going to try that to see if i still have the problem troubleshooting you know basically stepping through the the, the you know processes to try to uh, get to uh, a better solution give me a second some kind of solution i should say if not, I guess I have to, like, continue to try to work around it. Ugh. Oh, man. Today has been one hell of a week. This week has been one hell of a month. This month has been one hell of a year. And by the way, you, you see that anomaly there on that that checker in the corner that's a checker in the corner that's checker in the spotlight it's it's designed like that i was worried the first time it printed but it's that's that's how it is it, there's a hole specifically in the design in that space it'll be fine that's the nice thing about you know printing you know something or having printed something several times over you kind of know what to expect instead of like wait a minute that doesn't look right it's it's fine wait oh sorry i like totally missed chat i, I forgot that i had to hit refresh uh look Sandy Claus, recently having a problem with Chrome doing something similar, fix it by turning off hardware acceleration. Interesting. Um, hmm. I, it, I am curious about that. What was your problem, Sandy Claus? Let's see if it was about the same. What specifically was your problem? It, like I said, it could very well be Chrome. Turning off hardware acceleration does not sound like a great idea, though. <laughs> like, I can figure out another way around it. Because, like, turning off hardware acceleration, uh, maybe I'd switch to Microsoft Edge or Brave and be fine with that. Uh, do I have any tips on bridging? Can I find any to get anywhere having constant issues and cannot bridge without having a terrible first layer of bridging? Pro Snipex, um... I'm not sure if I uh, I have a specific solution for it. Though it looks like uh, C. Travis may have something. There are videos on how to achieve better bridging with some calibration prints and some part cooling adjustment print speed. C. Travis would probably have a lot more experience than me in this sense. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, because I, I don't have enough practical experience to be able to, to, to suggest uh, you know that much to you or point you towards one solution or uh, another you've heard about chrome needing to turn off hardware acceleration for twitch well it's definitely not i don't think it's a twitch thing like i'm the 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 scenario is i'm using chrome on the primary machine not the external monitor and, and i'm using chrome and remote desktop that's it those are the only two tools that are open and i may end up to troubleshoot it further uh, if I if I still have an issue after trying something else there, um, eliminate Chrome and just do everything remotely. So I'm st I'm stepping through, I'm stepping through. That's the next step. PC was randomly locking up while watching video. No reason for it. Well, I mm, I guess that could be it. Like I said, maybe I need to troubleshoot just a few more things to figure out what's going on. Liz is having fun. Uh, you just posted a link to a friend's video on his C-3PO print. What? What? 
Uh, Trek Mars is struggling at. What are you struggling with, Trek Mars? What's going on? What's happening? We're all having fun. Fun being a very loose word. Maybe mercury. Mercury. Mercury is in retrograde. Oh. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe, I wonder. Let me go ahead and pause video. Let's see what happens when I do that. Pa I'm going to pause video. Try that trouble. I'm trying, like, 30 different troubleshooting steps. But you're right. Let me, let me nail it down even further. One step at a time. Huh, I do, wa I wonder. I w wonder if it is related to playing video back in Chrome. It's difficult for me to switch from Chrome to back to Safari as much as I like Safari. Safari is really not great on the latest version of Mac OS. Like it's it's actually slower than Chrome, believe it or not. Edge is is fine on Windows. I still debate how it exists as a first class citizen on Mac OS. It's getting better. I could see myself floating to Edge at some point. Brave is also... I use Brave exclusively on my Android device. Uh, like, that's that's my browser. Like, Brave is, is the absolute must on Android. Like, there's nothing, nothing apart from that. Um, so, with uh, uh, with Chrome on the desktop, I'm like, all right, it, it, it's going to work well enough. And, and there's not that much of an advantage of using Brave on the desktop right now. Um... I, inevitably, I always fall back on using Chrome because it's like, well, if there's a compatibility problem, Chrome usually, you know, quote-unquote, fixes it. So that's one of the reasons why I use Chrome on the desktop, just to have that as a go-to. I don't need, like, 13 browsers installed. I'm not interested in that. Uh, check share drive. My God. Uh, I will have to, then. I will, I will have to, I will have to look. There it is. See what we got here. Fun, combined, or lid. Oh. So the lid is the separate one? Oh, wait, let me do this. Let's take a look. Downloading now. Builder's Mark, thank you very much. Let's see if lid does the trick. And, of course, Prusa Slicer did not open on the right screen. Great. Uh, so let's do this. Going to open it up here. Okay. Oh, my God. This is freaking huge. Holy schmidt. Okay, so I need to shrink that a bit. Um, let's try to go 50%. Even, oh, God, even that's a bit big. Um, eh, it's not too big. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to 30% that. Yeah, let's see. 30% may be sufficient. Yeah, 30%. Now let's see what that, let's see what the other one is. Combined unit. Download. Paste it here. Oh my god, that's freaking huge. Okay, I see. Combined unit. I see what it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This might this might work. This should work. Interesting. Um Yeah, thirty percent. I believe this will uh this will do the trick. Um because anything bigger than that is just like holy sh Holy schmooligans. So if I... I wonder, will that interlock? Oh, it won't interlock. So I may only need... I'm looking at the, the lid and the, and the top of the Camtono. There's a lot of details inside that Camtono that don't need to exist, but... 
Let's see what we got. This is at 30%. 0.15. Actually, I can probably drop that to a 0.20. It's gonna be a long. Oh, it's not. That's that's actually not too bad, dude. I gotta tell you, that's actually pretty decent. I'm I'm pretty impressed. Uh, well, I need supports at the bottom. Yes, seemingly. We'll need supports. That's not too bad though. In inside, in the bottom. Inside, I, I can't tell if I'll need supports. So let's try it at 40%. It's going to be a bigger one. Definitely bigger. Definitely bigger. Seven hours. Okay, but that... That's... That, that, that might be closer to what I'm looking for. Although, like I said, the inside probably... Because the walls won't come off. So I don't know if that's going to... How that's going to work. Thank you, Builders Mark. I'll, I'll take a deeper look here. Uh, phrase 24, I'm using a Prusa Mini Plus. Randir is gaming redeemed ad time. Well, then why... Weird how some of these things disappeared, but there you go. There's ad time. Good luck, Liz. Have fun. Possibly need supports. Check for blue overhangs. Fair enough. A little larger than 6 inch because of inside measurements. Yeah, the counter says zero because I, I restarted the print, but I've got like a half hour left. I can reset that. How do you join Locker Gnome teams? Uh, you got to be a streamer, dude, and I got to know you. I got to trust you. And I, I, I don't have an answer to either one of those questions, so you're not close. All right, there we go. You're dreaming of foals? Be sure to tell Loyal, Liz. He'll be happy. He'll be happy. Yeah, this can't... Thank you can't, for the Camtono. I, you know what? I may end up printing it, like, substantially smaller uh, to eliminate possibilities of overhangs and whatnot, and I think it, it'll work for, for a couple of different reasons. Thank you, Builders Mark. That's pretty much the model that I was hoping for, so I appreciate that. I'm thinking for... Because I wasn't sure if I would use it for, for the, the glasses cup, and I may end up using, like, a, like a plate... What I may have to do is like get like a, a longer kind of elongated like a, a plate of sorts that glasses could be set upon, so it's just easy and it's it, you know I'll use a filament and then maybe figure out how to do with Orabesh like the Jedi symbol somewhere. I may have to like work on something. A little like a bull. I, I have to look around. I have to I have to do a little bit of investigating to find something suitable. I wouldn't use gray, but I'd probably use a brighter color. With a little Jedi symbol on it saying, you put your glasses on here, that's exactly where they go. Kind of like a little gift of sorts. So I've got to keep my eye out for that. The Camtona I've wanted to do uh, with a different kind of filament color. Um, I, may, I may end up doing that one tomorrow. I may end up doing the, the Camtona that Builder's Mark just uh, splayed out for me. It was really nice. Really kind. Oh, no. Give me a second. Oh, Sith Lord Brick coming in here and gambling. Gambling away all the points. You. Oh, y'all. Oops, can I type? Can I type? It's a general question. Yeah, the cam tone will look good in the, the cream kind of color. No, no, no. Need, no, need the... Uh, second this is the thing I was waiting for and 
now it's here. So I gotta. Now I have a feeling I'm gonna have to do something else. Dang it! Just as I thought, just when I thought I would be able to do something the way that I wanted to do it, it wasn't going to happen. It has nothing to do with what I was talking about. It's just another task that I was trying to take care of tonight due to something else that was unforeseen. Some some unforeseen circumstances. Back when your dad was a mechanical engineer, his department received three 3D printers. Wow. 2013, 2014. That, that, was, that was a long time ago in tech years. Yeah, like I said, I've, I've known about him for, for some time, but it was just never, never compelled. Never compelled until recently. Give me a second. I gotta send a sa sad emoji. Sad emoji. Uh, what do I gotta do? I gotta... Give me a second. I gotta... Alright, this is what I can do. I'll do that later. I'll do that after we're done. Got the Camtono. That may be for tomorrow. The different filament color. I won't use gray for the Camtono. That, that won't be weird. But I do, I think... You've got me pointed to that Beskar. And I think I want to try doing the Beskar steel in the, uh, in the 6 inch scale. Not the actual Cam Tono, because I'm not looking for that. At least right now, but now I can now I can get it scaled. Can't have too many Beskar ingots. Beskar. Oh, it's got, he's got a one and a ten. Oh man, that's great. Body supports needed. Oh, interesting. So it does say supports are needed there. Beskar. I wonder, how, how big do these Beskars go? Let's try it 200, because I wonder if Jedi could have fun with these. They don't cost anything. They'd only take it th th at this size. They. Hmm. It's, those are pretty damn... Th eh. Those are meaty. This kind of silver is the right kind of silver. There's not much texturing on these Beskar ingots. Not that I would expect too much. But yeah, even then, it's they're too small to pick up a lot of the detail. Even at 200%, these the Beskar ingots won't. Can I go bigger than that then? Let's see here. Okay, so select all. Let's go... 300% for the best car ingots. See what happens. Slicing. Yeah, we get we get a little more of the Empire logo. Not by much. He's, I don't know. I don't know about those ingots. I like the licensed versions a hell of a lot more. Oops. How about that? Well, of course, I'm sure the moment you get a 3D printer for the first time, you're just playing around with it. That's a lot. That's like a given, isn't it? Like that's that's something that you just do perfunctory. That work? Okay, that worked there. Get pad. What the hell? I was not expecting that. Wait, did I? Yeah, I think I did. What's it called? Mm. 
There you go. Raffles all around. Raffle, raffle. I basically sent someone on a wild goose chase. It did not turn out well. A boulder shaped house made from 3D printed concrete is ready for its first tenants. That's for the Dutch. Wait, people like Google TV way more than Apple TV. I don't disagree. Oh boy. I love it when I hear from someone I haven't heard in ages. That, that literally just happened. Like, oh, I remember you from years ago. Did that ever happened? Like, out of the blue? Like, someone just remembers you're alive? <laughs> yeah, that's happened to me. That yeah, just happened. Okay, here we go. So, apparently, Google TV is getting uh, updated. Advanced video controls, setting for granular HDR formats. Interesting. Cool. Um, there are also unspecified Wi-Fi improvements. Interesting. Oh, nice. Hopefully that improves things. I like my Google TV a lot more than the Apple TV. If I had a choice between the two. What's that? Star Wars Episode Eight door panel print. Oh, interesting. Uh, do I think Builders Mark asks if I think the model will work? I think it will. I think I'm going to try it um, with a, a different filament color tomorrow at a smaller scale. And I think, it, I, I think it'll work. It's difficult to know because the lid does not look like it locks within the top of the cam tone. It looks like it just sits on top, but maybe I'm wrong. Still, I'm going to try a smaller cam tono for, for Jedi tomorrow. Um, but thank you, Builders Mark. I like having the, the, the cam tono walls like, attached to the actual cam tono. Oh, you just finished printing the, the door panel. I, uh, my, my docking bay 94 sign fell off, even though I used, like, the, the adhesive that I, I should have been able to, that should have been fine, for some reason it was, it fell off. I have no idea why. What do I think about the beat between, uh, Roku and YouTube TV? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I, I can't, I can't speak to it directly. It's political. I mean, I, I still think that, that the, the entire landscape is, is a total mess. Uh, it's, users ultimately don't win. It's just, it, it's, it's a series of frustrations. And, you know, like I said, having used, I mean, just in, in my experience, right, used, I've used both the Chromecast, Google TV dongle, like 50 bucks or whatever it was, uh, or the, the Apple TV. In between the two, Apple TV is far behind an experience of a Google TV, a Google Chromecast, not just because of price. But just general usability and fluidity, they both suck at. Like, they just absolutely suck. So I'm not expecting even faster Apple TV hardware to be that much better. But, like, in terms of the type of experience I would want in that type of TV, I know a lot of people like Roku, and now they're, they're made to, you know, sacrifice a service they want because these people are playing political games. It's, there's a lot of money. There, there's a lot of money in it. So am I surprised? Not at all. It, nor do I feel like, you know, uh, you're jumping into the fray of, of schadenfreude because ultimately, as much as my choice today isn't problematic, that does not mean that tomorrow my same choice won't be problematic because of situations that are well beyond my control. And that's something that it weighs heavily on me when, when it comes time to making any kind of decision. Like, I do not want to get... You know, put into a, a place where 
I'm going to I make a decision based upon certain parameters. Like if I were to buy a Roku box or TV or whatever, because I liked what it was, like what it provided, knowing that it was going to be compatible with these various and sundry services, only to get, you know, accustomed to what it was and then have those services change, that that's a model that is not going away. And that's a frustration and a concern that's not going away. That's it's par for the course. You you own you own a box, you own a piece of hardware that gives you access to services, and those services can and will change over time. Like you, you have no control over that. You have control over that box and, and, and whatever that box is plugged into, right? That's that's what you have control over. Everything else on the box, you're not in control. You never will be. It, that, that 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 ship has sailed. I think the days of, of controlling a lot of that stuff, long gone, dude. Long, long, long gone. It's as quaint as buying an MP3 on iTunes, right? Which I'm sure some people do still. But, you know, the world moved on to Spotify. So now we are beholden to these services to be the best they can be. And when service provider starts fighting with service provider, nobody wins. Nobody wins. This happened years ago. I mean, it, this happened. This changes all, some of my behaviors, depending on which you know service providers may be you know in contention with one another. Maybe maybe not media service providers or media content providers, but certainly in the ecosystem where they make these really radical changes that I don't want. I'm not interested in, and I, I don't want to play play with. And I've made you know certain decisions based upon you know certain things no longer working and finding a better way of getting things done. Only reason why, I mean, we've been using, we had used Apple TV um, it, 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 because it was there, it was convenient, and, and there was really, I couldn't find anything that was just as viable, but in, in my decisions, I would be just as satisfied to um, effectively switch over from using Apple TVs to using... Uh, the, the Google Chromecasts, I, I wouldn't have an issue doing that. Uh, you know, it takes up less space. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as responsive, but, like, it's it's aged out. Uh, and, and so I, I think the next time, um, the next time around, it, it will probably be a different device. It, it, you know, and it, we're not talking, we're talking, like, years into the future, right? Not, like, these decisions need to be made immediately. I'm less concerned because they're not, you know, they're not pressing. But all these service concerns and, and service uh, twists, you make it that much more difficult to make decisions that are going to work short-term and long-term. Uh, Fire TV new UI is a lot better than the old. Yeah, new Future Tech TV, I will tell you, Amazon, I think their heart is in the right place, but bless their hearts, they just cannot, they, can't, they have yet to develop a good software experience. And, and you know, the faster that the fire devices get, that the experience doesn't get any better. It, it's it's just it's a it's a lag fest. It's it's bad. It's really bad. And I, I realized that in, in just the other day when we were updating uh, one of one of the fire tablets that we use, like it was just uh, it was a bad time. I mean, it was just bad. I'm like, oh my god, why is this? Why do we still have this? Like this is just this is this is laughable dude this is like 2021 like this is la i mean i get i get bothered when my my ipad pro drops a frame or two I'm like this is just inexcusable for 2021 it should not be happening this should not be happening like why this is happening i have no idea you switched uh, roku from fire tv because of the gui yeah that wouldn't surprise me wouldn't surprise me at all mm -mm. the chromecast i i'll tell you the google tv on the chromecast it is is great by comparison to apple i would take the chromecast every time every time like i get rotten tomato scores right up front like okay great 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 i get all the the shows that i you know i subscribe to it's all in one screen the front screen main screen i can dive into the individual app channels it is so much better the only problem with google is that i mean there's some things that i'm still getting getting to it you have to turn off certain services if you don't use them they still throw things in there that I'm not interested in but for the most part I ignore those it, it's it's a, a lot more accessible to me 
it's about as fast, maybe not as fast, but fast enough where I don't think about that as much. So, Shield TV runs Android TV, can host fo files on Plex, Chromecast, AirPlay built in. Yeah, I, I've never had a, I've never had a Shield TV. I have no interest. It, that's Mark H. That's exactly what, what kind of kicked off this conversation. Roku pulling the YouTube client. Like it's just, it's, it's political. It's political. Fire Stick runs well. Fire Kindle Fire has gotten slow over the last two days. Wow. You'd take the Chromecast with Google TV. Regular Chromecast are so fragmented in what they can do because Apple is so stingy on people using Google Cast. Well, the funny thing is, is it not long after I, I got a trial for Apple TV, which I'm inclined to stick with, I mean, as a service. Um, uh, yeah, don't don't worry. don't you, No need to apologize, Mark. Um, the, uh, uh, second, let me get back on track. Oh, not long after I got it, uh, the Apple TV subscription, at, like within a week or two, Apple released the Apple TV app for Chromecast. So it, I mean, it was, it worked out exceedingly well. So I can get my Apple TV subscriptions on my Chromecast. Apple would be stupid not to do that. Like literally stupid not to do that. And the reason why is because they're trying to get as much money as they possibly can. Right. And so to get, um, uh, to get that, it, you know, they, they have to get to as many eyeballs as possible. That's the thing that just baffles me. Apple's got this Apple One product or whatever, like the one subscription to rule them all. They have to keep adding services to it. So I think it's just, I think it's a matter of time before more things get rolled into that as a bigger value. Not just, you know, what we've got today, like the uh, photos or your, your storage that, you know, photos count towards it or, you know, Apple TV or Apple Music. But... Um, you know, including, let's say, iMessage. Like, it would be incredible if and when Apple did release iMessage and, and made it a subscription plan. I think people would buy into it. I think would people would pay for i ha to specifically have iMessage cross-platform. I think people would pay for it. I do. Windows, Android, I believe, I truly do, that that would sell so many subscriptions. So many subscriptions and they're going to make money so you, they've got to add things to it that make it worth spending money on and what they've got now is maybe kind of compelling but like they've, they've added like fitness plus or whatever the hell it is i'm like ah no like i'm not mm -mm, no I, I i i'm not gonna waste my money i'm not i'm not interested in that kind of thing me personally maybe other people are maybe that's 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 what they need that's what they love I, i'm definitely not it that's so it's it's useless. They throw these bargains in there, these values in there that are just bargains to some people, not everybody. So they've got to try to win more people over to subscriptions. Apple TV's not enough. Apple Music's not enough. There's not enough of a value add there. Spotify already exists, and, and you know other uh, other providers exist. There's unique content certainly on Apple TV. I just don't think they have enough to warrant what it costs on a monthly basis. You know, for, for Apple TV to, to effectively, uh, uh, you know, for, for people to continue to pay for it. Uh, you second that. It would be a lot easier to interact with your iPhone friends. Personally, I'm Android. Uh, yeah, me too. So, it's, uh, thank you. They're, they're still working on it. They had to pull maybe from the back to get the, yes, to get, I don't know if they're coming. I'm still communicating with them to trying to find out if they're, yeah. Who's Jedi playing with? Okay. Oh, I didn't know. I did. I heard something that was going on. So, Divya or you know, Anne or whatever her name was, the other girl that I talked to the mom. Uh, give me a second. Ethan's dad, 3D, had texted me here. That's funny. That's <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, so, this is what Ethan's dad 3D has whipped up. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. That's good. But the only problem is, here's the only problem. Zod has got to be in the... 
Zod's got to be in the background, blurred, and Neil has got to be in the foreground. Because it's Neil before Zod. Zod's got to be in the background. Neil's got to be in the foreground. So you don't even have to Photoshop. My, my face has, doesn't have to have anything to do with it. But Neil has got to be in the foreground. Clearly in the foreground. Neil, like, head here, you know, Neil. But Zod's in the background. Like, Neil's, like, up close and in person. Zod's in the back. You get it now? That's You know what I'm saying? So that it's got that's the visual, right? Neil before Zod. It's just, but you have to know it's got to be bl not not like totally blurred out, but like, you know, like uh, Boca, right? Like that's Zod back there. You couldn't like you have to be able to detect. Senior, why Neil? Because Senior, you know the saying, right? Neil before Zod, like in 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 in. It doesn't have to be Neil Patrick Harris, right? But since Neil Patrick Harris was like doing his stream today with uh joel someone said neil before zod i'm like i thought it was funny it'd be funny to visualize neil before zod because ne the neil yeah hang on i have to ask Cini up are you familiar with the neil before zod thing are you familiar give me a second give me a second uh let me see if i can find a if you google Neil before Zod, like, give me a second. This will, this may, what the hell? Hang on, all right. It's Superman 2, right? Yeah, exactly, Neil before Zod. But instead of that, it's just, it's another way of saying, you're saying it's a pun, but it's visual. It's Neil who's clearly before Zod, like in line, right? He's standing in line. Zod's back here and Neil's... I'm just... I know. I need, to, I need to work on my own Photoshop skills. Trust me. Trust me. When you see it, it's... it's people are going to get it. Too much explaining. <laughs> I know. I've already over-explained the joke. I may have to take a crack at it. This is crowdsourcing photoshopping. Yeah, you don't need any words on the picture. Like, this is the kind of thing that gets to the front page of Imgur or Reddit. In fact, I'm shocked. I'm shocked no one's done it yet. Your mom told you you should have worked at an ad agency? Yeah, me too. Got about five minutes left in the print. Tomorrow, Target's getting some new Star Wars stuff. Theoretically. I'm still getting through Shadow and Bone. I'm halfway through starting to get good I'm invested in the characters I'm invested in the story um and oh Ethan's dad you're asking about giveaways yeah Anytime, Ethan's dad. You got some codes to give away? Drop them in the channel. Whatever. I'm fine with that. If he's listening, he's probably, like, furious at work. Photoshop. What am I eating? Diana makes me popcorn every evening and sprinkles nooch on it. Nooch is also known as nutritional yeast. Yes, Moses gifted you again, Lord Barrington. Welcome back. It is good to see you. Do you see the massive Star Wars sale on Star Wars sale on Steam? I have so many games on my list that I I don't yet have. Games that I thought about playing too. I have, truly. May the fourth be would you deals go live on Lego Store in 20 minutes for VIPs? Oh, cool. I'm a VIP. I'm not getting anything. I'm not that blown away by their exclusives. 
Plus, I already have the Vader. Your sister makes that too for a night snack? Oh, yeah, man. Nutritional yeast is awesome. Packed with V vitamins. Mm-hmm. Not just the pork, Groggy Nod. May the chopstick be with you, too. Still waiting to hear back from... Who do we have? Who is streaming right now? Comedy Hub. We haven't raided them. Zach, I gotta invite Zach Rutledge to my team. Um, Britt Blossom is streaming. We j we raided her the other day. Set to build is just chatting. Is also building. Um. We haven't done... Who have we not done? We haven't done Kobolax. We haven't done the Comedy Club, ever. Right? We all know this. this. So, I want to raid the Comedy Club. That's who I want to raid. Because we haven't raided them yet, and they've, 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 sh they've shown up in some of the streams lately. So, let's go raid them. Let me go ahead and make a note to myself that I want to invite Zach to... And set to build... To my team... I'm a TIE Fighter? Funny, Groggy Nod. Very, very funny. Comedy Hub is our raid target tonight. Um, and the good news is... The good news is we're getting the things that I think we were supposed to get. So, because I could save money on the thing. I, I could, basically, I got to, okay, here's what's going on. So I've got, like, a, an order coming in, but they had to be certain things that we needed, that we're looking for. And I did it this way because I got a coupon for $25 off. So we can save a, an, a massive amount of money on something ordering it this way. So, yay. All right. These are done. These little cookies. They're not cookies. They are uh, checkers. Sorry, my phone's going to, like, be going off. Um... Yeah, the checkers turned out nice, as I expected them to. Um, I know I need to let these things cool a lot longer than I actually do, unfortunately. You told you you have bad... Oh, no, I have, I have I have way badder puns. My puns are way badder. You did, but you already have most of them, Lord Barrington? I, um, I don't have any. Like, Rogue Squadron 3D was one that I, I wanted to grab, if only to, to play it again after all these years. Hey, what's up? <laughs> What's up? Yes. Decals. Be careful with those. Not gonna stick them on anything yet. And then a, a visual dictionary for the Clone Wars. About to read Comedy Hub here. Now that we've finished tonight's print. Thank you everybody for joining. Thank you for uh, for being here. Thank you for hanging. Thank you for punning it up with me. Uh, listening to the fatherly advice that I gave. That was fun. Uh, joining for the the multiple prints tomorrow. I'll be back me. again. Tomorrow at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific, feel free to join Discord. Hi, Oops, mommy. if I can type Discord, Hi, just like that. Uh, you were just getting warmed up. I know, Groggy Nod, you got to show Hi, up earlier. Mommy. It's like almost 9 o'clock, man. Nine o'clock. It's 9 o'clock on a Friday night. Regular crowd shuffles in. I'm getting this, a little bit this, tired. This, this, That's a bit. This, it's a bit. This. It's a, it's a bit. This. That's a remote control. You know what that is. Uh, what is it? This. It's a room. Exactly. What do you do with it? You change colors. That's right. You can change colors. Thank you, Tinker Tech. I appreciate you uh, saying that. Appreciate you all being here. Uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, and then I think uh, we're gonna, I was going to do the, the, the Lego live stream tomorrow because Saturday I'd reserve it. But I think, what was it Builder's Mark suggested? He said, well, I thought you were going to do it May 4th. And I think, yeah, we'll, we'll start the, the Vader then on, on May 4th. And we may get all the way through it too. So looking forward to that. Uh, it's been 13, 37 weeks since Hackers was really, That's funny. I had no idea. That's great. Hi, Mommy. Uh, thank you, Lord Barrington. It is good to see you. I'm going to get Lord Barrington since you showed up. Uh, add points. All 
This is because Lord Barrington showed up. Everyone gets 100,000 points just like that for free. Sorry, Perillo Popcorn. That's just because Lord Barrington's here. A great supporter. I really appreciate all the support he's given over all this time. Hope to see you more, or at least more often, as I'm getting a Heimlich. Uh, big Heimlich. Uh, oh, thank you, Evan Channel, for cheering those 50 bits. Very much appreciated. Incredibly appreciated. We're going to be reading Comedy Hub. Let's do another raffle Put here. Put your hand up and put your edit I can't, in your nose. I can't, I'm not going to do that right now. I got I to start the raid. I got to start the raid, honey. I got to. Uh. I got to. I got to start the raid. It's time <laughs> for the raid. Daddy's been streaming for about three hours. So he, he everyone's happy. Everyone's good. We're going to leave on a high note. <laughs> eh. All right. So, uh, honey, I need my arm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I know. I need I need my arm. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to read Comedy Hub. Y'all, I hope y'all are in the mood for laughing. I have no idea who these comedians are, what they're talking about. So you may like them, you may not. Comedy Hub is still a good channel to follow. They do, the, the person who runs the channel does come in here frequently. Another reason to, to support them. Hang on, Jenna, hang on, sweetie. Uh, Ethan's dad, 3D, just shared Ethan? another photo. Ethan's dad, 3D. Let me see what he's got here. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Dude, dude, this is it. This is it. I'm tweeting this. Ethan's dad, 3D. I'm tweeting this. I'm totally tweeting this. Just like this. No words, no context. It's Neil before Zod. What's that? It's Neil before Zod. This is perfect, dude. This is perfect. Okay, I'm tweeting this, Neil. Hang on, hang on. I, I don't know if I'm going to tag Neil Patrick Harris, though. I don't know him enough. Like, I don't want to annoy him, right? Like, I, I'm not, I'm like one of those, like, he, he would, you know, not that he would ever want to, like, stream with me like he streamed with Joel today, but, you know, still. All right, here we go. Tweeting. Uh, and Ethan's Dad 3D, by the way, if you want, oh, crap, did I, did I start the raid? I may have accidentally started the raid. What? Hello? No, I don't know. Did it go? Hello? Or did I? Hello? Sheila LaBeouf just said do it. Uh... Ethan's dad 3d if you want to uh, if you want to give away codes or whatever feel free I mean if you want to make it an official thing we can make a day of it um, Just let me know or just even if it's randomly giving away codes. I'm, I'm fine with that, too I don't consider that spamming at all and I appreciate you asking uh, I'm quite all right with that uh, Or if you want like I said if you want to set up a day we can figure it out do some uh, some giveaways of EM 3d Great app for iOS uh, to do uh, scanning. It's how I scanned my head and everything. And if other people can get the ability, that's great. I, I really want to get that tool in the hands of other creators because I, I said to them, I'm like, well, give me a scan of your head and I can 3D print it and send it to you. So, yeah, nice color. Very nice rainbow. rainbow. That's right. We made a little rainbow. Oh, thank you, Mark. And NC, and, and, and you retweeted and tagged NPH. Let's see how many other people get it without explaining it. Yesterday, I went to the eye doctor. Yes. And then I'm getting glasses in two weeks. Yes, in about two weeks you're getting and then, glasses. And then after that, then after I get my glasses, then this, then that night, then we're gonna, um, then we're gonna set up Daddy's birthday, and then in the morning he'll know what his birthday looks like, well, and then I'm... we can have a cake, what? and then we can celebrate his birthday, and he can, and he can blow his candles, and he. He can maybe properly. I don't know. Yes. As it were. Yes. Wait. What? This is not live? Yeah, it's live. Hmm. I was just waiting for you to say something because I, I, I was getting ready to read Comedy Hub yeah. and warning and, everybody. And also, um, also, um, oh, act yeah. because, um, and I got a cake pop. Yes, as, because uh, you were really good at the doctor and you listened and you were really good. Yeah. My favorite part was when they got my cake pop. I'm sure it was. <laughs> well, you know, going to a doctor sometimes, I mean, like, it can be a challenge, but you, you face it very bravely. Yeah. And Mommy and Daddy talked, and, and, and we were like, well, do we, she, she said, should we get her something? I'm like, I don't know what. And, like, well, then she was back in the back, and I had to keep going. I'm like, well, you did really well. Just a tiny little cake pop because yeah. you haven't and had one in a while. One, very special occasion. Class. Yeah, you had uh, di your eyes were dilated. Yeah, because she put eye drops. Yeah, to make your pupils really large so she could see in there yeah, to get your right prescription. No, they're same color. They don't change the colors that way. Yeah, but 
You get the glasses soon, then you can show them off. Yeah, and I and I can not, then I can read more better. Yeah, you can because you get you can see the words more clearly. Uh, also, I'm gonna see about 3D printing you like a tray to put your glasses on yeah. at night. Yeah. It's a fit. Just resubscribed for three months. Thank you, iSciFi TV, <laughs> for resubscribing. Uh, Hello. right here at the end. Hello. Uh, Hello. So I'm gonna I'm gonna print you at like at night. You wear them like when you wake up in the morning. You know exactly where they are. You grab them. You put them on. You can see. You may need you need to clean it. You may need to clean them. We got to use a special cloth to clean them so they don't scratch. And then it, you keep them on all day, all day, all night. And then you're ready to go to bed. You take them off. You put them right there on the tray so you know exactly where they are. Okay. So that way they're not lost. They don't get stepped on. They don't get broken. <laughs> they go right on that tray. That's exact. That's their place. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to 3D print you a special. <laughs> glasses tray that I didn't have. I didn't have something like that. I didn't have something special like that. But I'm, gonna... I'm I'm good at this point in my life. I generally can keep track of my of my of my glasses. I'm pretty good with the keeping track of them now. I don't lose them. But as a child, yeah, that was that was a little bit of, of an issue. So uh, getting glasses is great. Lord Barrington says got his recently. That's oh. awesome. Uh, and Builders Mark says welcome to the Jedi Twitch stream. Okay, Market H and NC. Uh, that that was um, uh, 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 Ethan's dad. 3D made it. Uh, I but I didn't. I mean, I, I I I tweeted it without any context, like at all. Um, I probably should have asked. Did, wait, hang on. I do you want me to tag with credit? I can delete and redo easily. Didn't. Of that. Sorry, I'm 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 asking Ethan's dad. I don't want to be unkind. Um, okay, so queso, cheese. Mm, I had some cheese today too. Uh, so we'll see how many people get this. Let's, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning. I'm sure it's gonna be an explosion. Okay, Ethan's dad said no credit. Okay, just making sure. Um, yeah, Ethan's dad 3D is on Twitter with the same handle. Ethan's dad 3D. And, uh, yeah, I see it's Neil before Zod. That it's like, it's funny. Look, look, I, I like retweeting y'all when you, when you tag everybody, um, or when you, when you tweet out that I'm streaming. So I just did, I just retweeted Ethan's dad 3D because I see, oh, he's right there. Um, okay. Now we're going to raid a, a com comedy channel, assuming it's still live. Uh, Again, I cannot make any promises as to what this is and what this isn't. So they may say things that you find funny. They may say things that you don't find funny. But the idea is that they rotate different comedians in there. I think it's really unique. Moreover, the channel director comes into this channel and interacts. So I really, really, really like that. So, Oh, they just started a new comedian. Even better, Iran Deer is gaming. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Glad to know. Uh, that I have now met Chris's brother, and I've known Chris as a great supporter for years. So we're going to raid Comedy Hub. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I love you. I appreciate you. At this point, however, I'm going to leave you to your own devices, and may the Force be with you always. Join you. Uh, join me. You can join. I will join. You will join me? Kneel before Zod. No, join me tomorrow, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, and uh, remember, pop into Discord if you want notifications, including notifications when fellow team members go live. I believe that should have been set up uh, correctly. I may need to tweak one or two more things, it seems, but uh, I'm working on it, still working on it. Not exactly perfect. Uh, I'm going to Tuscan Raid Comedy Hub in three... Did I say that right? Yeah? Comedy Hub? Yeah, Comedy Hub in... Sorry, I'm getting it ready so I can actually hear the reaction, if they give a reaction. In three, two, one. Mother. Um, now mine, I would say he could have gone in and snatched a little more. You know, that one might be longer than the other by quarter of an inch. It's not inhibiting in any way.